Where is it? Okay. So hi everybody. We're just getting warmed up here. Um, I got Mr. Florencio with me. The sewer mermaid himself. We got our second Legion Invitational. This one was a little bit of a shit show. Oh, I'm getting it together. But uh, thanks for everybody who came together at the last minute to play. Hopefully we get some uh, some viewers. And I think you guys will all like these matches. Um, unfortunately, Gamer Richie couldn't make it. So... That's yeah, unfortunate, yeah. but... We got Mr. Greg in here too, who will be hopping in and out with us to commentate. Uh, I'm gonna no. say cool. Yeah, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. How's everyone doing? I'm All right. Doing good. Wait, Lila Cannon and, and Nick Wellick are going. Um, I'm gonna tell yes, those I guys. Yes, I to start off. Oh, that you. All right, so I'm gonna update my thing. So first we have Lilla Cannon versus Nick Wellick. So I'm wrong. And I spelled his name wrong too. It's fantastic. We have Lil Lily Cannon. I can't I'm so dumb. Could you invite me please? Yeah, and Greg. Let's see, we need Mr. Florencio and Greg, or this match isn't going to be going anywhere, huh? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just saying I invite you to the party. I'm like, what's going on? I'll always be there in the sixth sense. So this is going to be an interesting match. Uh, Florencio, what's hilarious about this one is, um, yeah, we have a former pro gamer, and then he, this guy's been around for a bit, little cannon. He's like a 6K Terran against like a Masters 2 Pro DOS player. Who's Don't like go off of player. MMR. Yeah, he's like 16. Nick is a big fan of Disruptors, I will say that. So this should be... Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I just let the I just let the the, the skills show me what, what they got. I don't go off of MMR. I, I, I don't I'm not in the MMR hype. Yeah. Oh no, it's just uh these guys were nervous, but I told them I go, Nick, why don't you just play your best? You know what I'm saying? Like don't get nervous, buddy. You could do. Think of the game plan, you know? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you do get those jitters though. So you gotta kinda like break it off, like maybe Play a little couple games beforehand, just get that rust off. Um, yeah. Get them sweaty palms, you know? Okay. Greg, are you coming in or? Can you re invite me? Yep. Sorry about that, I missed it. Oh, I'm lobby. guys I think we'll start setting up the matches for the guys after because they don't have WCS game heart mod on you know <laughs> oh yeah let's see go go So we have a guy that I'm embarrassed that I can't pronounce his name, Lilik Lilikanen from Denmark against Nick Wellick from the United States and Eastern Europe at the same time. Figure that one out. What do you think about that one? Florence, you want to do the honors of the first player, Florencio? Whoever spawns? Uh, sure. Well, sounds good. 
Let's do it. <clears throat> Greg, do you want to get the second one? On it. <laughs> Alright, I think we have some um, EU lag, possibly. Or maybe... Let's see. Alright. Just blame everything on Nick Wellick. Yeah, it's all Nick's fault. Yep, look at it. It is Nick's fault. Nick, Nick, Nick. My number one stream viewer. <laughs> is that why you cast him? Because you hear me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, we are in Eternal Empire. I'm gonna represent. Gonna call out the first play opponent. The bottom left and the green represented E Punks. It is Lelenkanen. What? Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> and Greg? Uh, and and then spawning I in the top right, repping that classic Protoss skin. It is Nick Wellick. Alright. So let's hope this game is as interesting as their names, right, Florencio? Yeah, exactly. Um, Aquil is Nequelic is going for the Reaper for um, a slowdown, so he's probably gonna go standard, gonna go for an expo. But uh, we got a cheat going on here, or at least a uh, minor harass. Some early aggro, early aggression from our Terran player. <clears throat> yeah, Nequel. With the early scout, should be able to see something's not adding up. Interesting, he doesn't make a barracks at home either. Yeah, so Nick's already like, oh shit, this kid's got to be a little nervous right now. He's like, oh no, I'm getting cheesed. Yeah, he wants to verify if the, the Rax is inside or not. No. Yeah, getting cheesed by a pro player is uh, a scary proposition. For even the most stalled worth of opponents. True. Ooh. Hey, Macho. Alright, so Nick is. I like that he's playing defensive on this. But now he's seeing with that pylon. I wonder if. Uh, Lulkanen is gonna drop a bunker with this on the low ground. Would be kind of a fun play. Yeah. Uh, I think it's gonna just be like a Reaper harass. A little bit of Reaper harass. He's going for two Reapers. He didn't have a Rax at home, so he's gonna probably make a pact. Yeah. yeah Sounds very conservative play. Already got one uh, probe. Two. Very nice. Probe. And he also has more stuff. Ooh. Over committed. Was hoping to get those. The... Interesting. So he's going doing. one, one, one. <laughs> oh no! He, what the? Yeah. But with no expand. No two one. one. Nick. It looks like Nick Willick's more like just worried about some type of cheese, like heavy cheese, and he's not sure yet. Very important. Nick Willick got the Nexus down right before the barracks could land and deny it. Very yeah, that was done. very important. Been annoying. Oh, goodness. Yeah, because you're not you're not able to push away a barracks that quickly with what three stalkers, and you want these stalkers across the map, putting on a little pressure, denying information, gathering information from the Terran player. Yeah, then the Protoss technically doesn't want to take the third first, but I mean they still could. It's not a very complicated area to hold. So it wouldn't be too bad either on this map, luckily. I have to take it. Oh, that stalker's but... gonna go down to that cyclone. Ooh, that's not a good one. Losing a stalker already early in the game. But Possibly if you guys two. haven't noticed, the, uh, the CC is not being... Okay, there it goes. But it was not being built yeah, for he... quite a bit there. Yeah, he... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, look at this. This guy's got a Marine in his main base with the barracks drop. This Nick's is fantastic. Confused. This game is crazy. I like this guy. Yeah. What do you think about this Terran yeah. player, Flo? This dude's fucking... 
He's doing good moves. Keeping like, the Protoss on his side of the map. Yeah, and every time he makes a... He kills a worker with this, it's worth it for him. Yeah. It's, it's even mineral-wise, and it's just gonna... So the only thing is not getting that fast command center is hurting them a little bit. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Yeah. Maybe supply blocked. Currently, yeah, really supply blocked. Yeah, but the game plan was good. I like the game plan. It was uh, well thought out. I'm surprised he didn't we see get this those on conquers. the uh, flow stream at some point. The, the proxy reaper into proxy marines in the back of the opponent's base. I already did that. Oh. <laughs> nice, dude. Darn it. Yeah. So he's taking a uh, leaf out of your book. Uh, I think he probably figured it out himself. I think I think he's, um, you know, discovering himself too, and it's a good move, you know. Yeah. I like it. I thought that was. I just don't. Fun. I just think <laughs> he should have had a Rax at home too, though. I I I understand the factory play, conservative, but having a Rax at home is really. Um, Good just to protect yourself from that kind of wild uh, stalker uh, walk by, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. But is, everything else is good. He looks like he's going mech heavy. So, yeah. He, he's going like battle mech, which is. I don't, I don't know. Mech can be easy and it can be hard to deal with. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Nice. Oh. This isn't how you use it. You know? Really. Nick is a big, uh, like I was saying, he's a big like soccer disruptor guy, but we'll see what happens. I don't understand why, why is only the Nexus, the old school Nexus, uh, optional? I wish the whole setup yeah. was optional. Like you can just equip the old... The was that a place? Hey, hey guys, the classic. It it's a small indie company. You know, they don't have the time or the artist to do this sort of thing. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Here comes the Banshee play. Gonna come in and harass. There's no Observer. Oh, no. That observer. One on the way, though. Yeah. We're, We're losing look. mining time. So let's look at the workers killed. We have nine, uh, we have 12 down on the side. But this thing's gonna go down. Banshee goes down, lost some gas, but definitely did the damage in mining time. It is taking a third for the Protoss player, so that's actually something we're going for the macro. Yep. Here we go. And he's not going to let the Banshee do the same work. Yeah. I gotta give him another chance. Probably gonna make a cannon or a battery shield right at the front. A battery shield will do just fine. Oh, uh, Banshee agree. don't shoot heavy enough to um, to take out a stalker with uh, probe with battery shield recharge. Guys, can you guess how many workers have been lost this game by Nick Lowe? Twenty. Yeah, sixteen. It's, it's sixteen. Yeah, it was, yeah it was we're gonna be twenty. Here we go. Oh no! Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. 21. Oh, Two. massacre. Oh, Barbecue. 24, 24, holy shit. Look at yeah. This. Look at Good enough to come by. <laughs> now, you're definitely not going to go into the Terran's base pretty tanked out. Poor Nick. I think... The objective should be for the Protoss players to deny either a third or fourth base. Um, because as long as the Terran players on this few bases, the harassment hurts, but it kind of, you know, labor it. Yeah, not sure why the, the Protoss is not having stalkers. Why, uh, Nik Nikuel Nikuelik? Yeah, he should have some stalkers right there. He let this, uh, he lost more probes. Yeah, pretty cool. It's... I think it's the F2 or it's the group, army group. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say it looks like he's all army hotkey in that sucker. It looks like I'm playing. No, I'm just kidding, Nick. I'm just doing this for Nick's balls because I know him pretty well, but 
like yeah. before the double or triple banshee and those hellions i thought it was actually okay for him considering the amount of pressure those put on early fire terran player and how late the natural was yeah you need a pylon uh for scouts on the edges on the back on the fourth and fifth base yeah well, he's got a good positioning with his observer now, and he had a uh, probe at the zone, I guess, so it was okay. <laughs> but not Banshees good enough, obviously. In. Yeah, well, when you get hit with Hellions, you kind of want to make sure you have some kind of. They leave. Oh no, a disruptor's dead. Oh, he never the got blink. Big. He also never got blink, which is huge because he opened charge. But you one would think after all these Banshees. Oh, uh, we're losing workers left and right. Our probe to keep up with the Banshee, but as long as the Banshee stay around the probe, then might be able to take him out. But it's not looking good. Oh, we're losing way too much. I hope Nick's not too nervous, because like, he, was, he was definitely shaking a little bit, you know. Younger guy gets experience that Oh my god. Yeah, let's look at I gotta bring this up. 56, and let's see how many he still has. He still managed to keep 43, so. <clears throat> and he didn't lose his whole army, so that's something, I guess. Yeah, but he's not gonna be able to attack, and there's no way you can engage with this army that yeah, he has. He doesn't have blink, even. Like, guys, you need blink to engage tanks, but he's gonna poke It's like paper mache right here. Yeah. Just go back home. Don't even bother, buddy. I think he forgot the. Let's see. Yeah, he's gonna try you to pull over here. I mean, at this point, you need a fourth and hope that you can keep him from getting a fourth and just protect your base for a little bit. I'd like to see a hallucinated um, phoenix or something go through here, you know what I'm saying? Rather than even him poking out. Yeah, definitely better observing. Keeping the third from being mined again. Wow, this is Turtle Terran. It's open from early aggro to just complete Turtle Terran. And another fucking that's, Banshee. That's common because of how Protoss plays. So, I mean, Protoss pretty much uh, deserve every bit of it. Because all they do is go charge <laughs> lot Archon and better go forward or go mass carriers. So, I mean, they kind of get their, their, their dosage. I think he's playing it right. He's gonna get take a fourth right when he keeps doing more harass, which is good. He's oh, a Protoss wow. at bay. Got the <clears throat> sensor towers. Can't sneak up on him. Oh my goodness. Back, hang on guys. I don't know how that got Oh done. no. Jesus. No. Yeah. I don't know be a probe in this game. There's no Phoenixes, no Stargate going up, no Phoenix Observer speed. We're just going oh, Stalker. Oh. Yeah, it looks like our Protoss player only knows how to do one composition at the moment. And it's a good composition, but not versus this kind of harass. It's really hard to move these units around. Yeah, he's just. Falling apart here a little bit. Oops, sorry guys. I like the observer right here in this area. Um, definitely need some. Here's the scout. Maybe station. He should just station his observers on um, on the nexuses just to have them out of not pos repositioned. Now remember, guys, if somehow Lilkin decides that he wants to just like move command into his opponent's base. And then move back. Maybe, maybe Nicola has king too. I don't even think so. I don't. I think the disruptors are gonna get uh, shoot one one area because they're gonna get a bit uh, nervous, yeah. and it's, it's the the mech is gonna crush it. No, he's. I'd like to see some diversity of units, like you're saying, Florencio, because he's got the one thing Nick's got though is he has some uh, decent upgrades. Um. 
if he, I'd like to see him get some production going, but his economy got like folded basically from all those. He's been spending minerals on probes like this whole game, you know. Yeah, he needs charge launch, <clears throat> but then it's kind of hard right now because he definitely charge launch aren't going to help Banshee play and stuff. Now, so here's one thing about an interesting thing too with uh, the battle. Oh no! Do you guys see what's coming up the center of the map? Yeah, a teleporting. Yeah. We're gonna do as much damage, teleport back, repair, oh, and get more Perrin. beasties. Just look at Terran with battle cruisers. Oh my god. I mean, they're not that strong compared to like a big flock of stalkers, but I don't think we have blink, do we? Yeah, no, no he blink. never got. He got nervous and never got blink. I got. I almost guarantee you, he's gonna tell me that after. Yeah. He's I feel it. Archons might be the choice instead of Templars. Cause Storm, yeah, it's fine, but you can get. To lose your Templars with Banshees pretty quick. Be careful. Yeah. At Remember? this point, Lucan oh. is pretty much maxed out and should be pushing across the map. He's killed 100 workers, okay? Okay, we've, we've had enough. <laughs> I think he's going for a world record on worker kills here this game. He's just chiseling. Oh, nice cancel, though. That was good. We finally have Blink going from Nick. Um, yeah. I think he's doing all right though. He's he's a little psychologically nerved, you know what I'm saying? And I I can guarantee you I would. But like you said, Florencio, hey man, you never know. I beat a, a freaking uh, 6K player that's in this tournament when he was off racing his Zerg. <laughs> yes, the other day. Nice. And I'm a diamond freaking player, so you never know, folks. <laughs> Mr. Skyler, here we go. Oh, the... is done. Blink is done. We did a very old blink real quick, but we couldn't get anything. Yeah. These these are still good health. The supply does not lie. Like and she run by on the top right. Oh god, the last thing Nick needs, more workers dead. Yeah. Poor Nick. <laughs> Not even mine efficiently. On the bases he does have. He would have done better if he would have just kept his, you know, even just sprinkled some cannons around, you know. Yeah. Oh um, man, that BC. Sorry, guys. The banshee sound effect. Sounds like a ringing phone. Yeah. All right, so we're taking a fourth and a fifth. We I have like, like five observers. We have four observers in the group. Yeah, he's got a. Uh... Apologies, folks. Yeah, we definitely need some observer speed upgrade right now. Not a lot of Protoss players use it. Because I uh, don't really see a use for it, but this is a good time to have it. Yeah. You can keep up with the Banshee speed. Yeah, Banshee speed really necessitates it. Oh my goodness. Am I going to see Yamato? He's got it. There we go. What's up, Ghosty? What's up, Holden? And the Templars, like I said, not in a... Oof. Here we go. Just missed that second one too. And we're gonna possibly assume that we left and that he's gonna come right back in. And then... Well, well we can say Nick Well, it's really good at making props. That is for sure. Yeah, that's something he's uh, he's doing well right now is producing workers. But his BCs are back in. Well, let's see what happens. Finally, an attack from our Protoss player. This is like. Maybe. Let's see if Nick. Comes Banshee. 
Let's see if Nick engages this smartly, or is he gonna engage this like Stalin on the Western Front? Oh, it's all going down. Oh. Don't even try, buddy. Uh, and I think we're about to see the GG come out here. Yeah. yeah would... Under 100 supply. Can't even make stalkers anymore. I mean, you don't even want stalkers versus this situation. It's like the yeah, worst no, thing. Yeah, but <laughs> even if you wanted them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. Too little, too late because of all that harass. But. And that banshee's cleaning hey, house over there on the top. Was... 172 <laughs> falling for our protest player. Change the music to Benny Hill and louder. Hey, Riz, Riz, Riz. We could, uh. Yeah, I think Nick's doing a pretty good job. He just, he did a pretty good job. He's just like. Shit, he got a little folded <laughs> by the early, the constant Banshee pressure and got nervous. Yeah, yeah, I think um, the Banshees really broke him. Uh, They're still made breaking. Him run around. Oh, he's broken already. He's already. This game, he needs a reset. Hopefully, we can get right back into. Aw, oh, poor Nick. Yeah. I don't know. Well played. Oh, played. Did good. Let's hope that this uh, was a good warm up for him. We can clear his mind. All right. So who are our next? That was a good, good game, Nick. When you watched the VOD after, I was breaking your balls, but come on, man. You had I, I could tell you were a little nervous there. I think we all could, but you did all right, man. Could you invite uh, Benji Death to the party? Benji Death and Hydra. Benji Death and Hydra. I'm One gonna second. step out for just a moment, gentlemen. Sure thing. Okay. Are you gonna be joining us in game or not? Nah, you're. This is us. Uh, not this one. I'm okay. gonna be. Helping okay. Peace. See ya. So we have Benja Death and Hydra up. All right, I'm gonna invite these guys. French, you wanna think we can just get in a party? If you want, yeah. Oh. That way it's <laughs> yep. quicker to log in, join in. Yeah. All right. All right. Wait, where's fun? There we go. Invite the party. There we are. Oh, it's <laughs> Hydra as in high. Yep. Let's see. That hurt. Yeah, dude. Nick, good job though, man. There's no need to get, you know, beat yourself up though. Spoiler, I lost. <laughs> oh, buddy. All right. Yeah. Want to try. be advanced in the bracket? Wait, they played? Um, how many games are going to be in this one? This one was awesome. um, how many games we have? All right, so we have seven more in the first round because we have 16 players, right? And then we have... Uh, well, we don't have to cast all the matches then. Oof. Hey, no rush. Right, it was just a question from the viewer. Um, we did have... So there was eight games in the first um, round. Then we're moving on, and then there's four. Then we have the uh, two matches for the semis, and then we have a best of three of the finals. So we uh, apparently some of the players played their games, which is all right with me. But um, let's try to leave some so we can cast them. Everybody's rushing to, to get them all done. If you don't mind, it, i got to tend to this quick, Florencio. Uh, go ahead. Fine. Yeah. Quick. Break. Yeah, go take a take a break or something. Is it Billy? Billy utters. All 
All right, I'm going to take a look in here. You guys mind? So yeah, let's see. Ghost, did you play already? So, we got some more people in the house, in the stream. Um, we have Benja and Hydra coming up here. I didn't mean to hold them off. Benja, Death, and Hydra <coughs> will be coming up. But we had a few issues with the bracket. All good. Okay. So, let's get... Um, <coughs> Let's see if the players have decided what map we are at. Sick. Alright, so I guess they're going to be playing on Death Aura LE. That's fine. <clears throat> and, uh, both these guys are GMs. And Hydra happens to be my one of my personal favorite Protoss players um, for some of his matchups. Okay, what do you like about it? Um, you could he's up. he's pretty he can be pretty standard, but just how he uses a standard build and you like in his, his PVT is like probably one of his more interesting ones in his PVZ. Um, where he has issues with is uh, PVP. But um, is, even though I like the cheesiest Protoss players, and at the same times, I like some of the most standard players. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But it's what good. they it, what they do with their micro and their macro. You know what I'm saying? And Hydra, what's good about him is he's just he can micro so well. You know what I'm saying? That's and good. still manages economy. It's it's pretty. So cool. his powerhouse is his micro. Well, it's it, between both. It's it's the combination of both. Like, if what gets interesting is it's how he does. Uh, uh, players are ready. It's how he uses both together. So he'll, you'll see him use stalkers in ways like it's like, you know, not quite watching like stats or somebody say, but it's it's pretty good, man. I think you'll enjoy this game. And Benja is a monster Zerg player. He's just this is gonna be a, a, an interesting match to say the least. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, definitely in the higher side of uh, StarCraft knowledge. Let's see what they give us. Mind if I get? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Mind if I get this like... guy? Just spawning yeah. in the bottom right corner of Deathora Le. We have the one, the only, Mr. Hydra. And it's spawning on the top left. In the faded red, our Zurich player representing Legion, it is Ben Benj Death. Yeah, dude. So we're probably gonna see a crazy macro game out of these guys, but anything's possible because both of them can do pull interesting stuff out of nowhere. 
All right. Looks gonna. Be, it looks standard for Hydra. It's gonna be like a macro play opener. You can already see the opening. Benja, same thing. He's got 16 hatch. Yeah, he didn't go for that hyper aggressive start where, like in Korea, I, I normally face uh, like the pull first into macro. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very, uh, I don't know, they love that stuff over there in the higher levels. But uh, we're going for a little more of a macro side on this one. Yep. Yeah, Benja mostly plays on uh, NA and Hydra's EU and then and NA, but predominantly EU. There goes the Nexus before uh, seven. Hey, thanks for the follow. Points. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Nexus. Well. What's up, Smoke? Smoke in the house with us. So second gas. No one Hydra. Here's what's gonna happen, right? He's gonna. He's probably gonna open. Let's see what he does for his tech structure. But I'm gonna call it. He's probably gonna go a mass glaive adept build, or it's gonna be DT Archon drop. <clears throat> okay, so that's your. And the Archon drop would be more um, common. The the adept one. We'll have to see if he takes the third and fourth gas because that's the. Yep. The, the ticker Tiffy's the, doing that, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can still get it and act like you're getting that one if your overlord scouting you, but and then not mine from the main base. Have to do a couple little illusions, but yeah, we'll see if he does that. Look at Mr. Greedy Greedy Zerg over here. Yeah, it's. I mean, in the higher levels, three hatch uh, play is pretty it, common. Yeah, he took it at a he took it at a normal time for a macro game, you know. But I was just like, yeah. oh no. I know, I know. It's a little different to see compared to like the lower levels where it's like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't you don't Go, see the crit. Uh, Silent Ghost is playing in here, and my buddy goes. Uh, you know, he's, apparently I've created the the DT rush build 100% win rate. Kappa, good one, Ghost. Good one. <laughs> I have the. Yep, he's doing it. DTs. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing he's memes. Dark, huh? He's oh, doing this for me. Stop it. Yeah, bear. Dude, did he see that? No, I don't no, think he, he saw that. It. Um, he can only expect maybe possibly DTs for the fact that he did see the Twilight Council. Huh. And uh, I always give myself that, uh, oh, he does the gas trick, but even on the, yeah, I was, uh. We should see some, a uh, layer, uh, the layer's gonna pop. Say the 330 <laughs> layer, do we see blind spores? You know what I mean? I would expect possible DTs or DT Archon. It's such a popular one, and we got Twilight, so. And the warp prism's out. I would... Oh no, Mr. Overlord sees it. Up there goes the uh, Overseer. I think uh, morphed right now as we speak. And and... I'm going for a Roach Warren. Yeah, the Roach Warren's finishing, but. Hydra executed this pretty much textbook perfectly for timing. Look at this. I think Benjamin Myth did too. Got the Queens, got the um, Overseer, got the Lynx for Harass. I mean, pretty oh! much has a losing Queens though. One shotting. One shotting. That is fantastic. Oh, uh, that was for our actually good. <laughs> losing those Queens are very bad. And yeah. losing the Lair Tech. Tell me lose it. Oh no, he didn't. And he lost it. Oh my god, that was a short one. Wow. Look at Protoss. No, I'm just kidding. But look at Pro look at Hydra. That's one of those things you should be ready for, right? The Archon play is a very popular one. It's one that a lot of people use. Uh, should be on the top of your, your checklist, I think. <laughs> Losing the Hydras off one, one swipe each was very devastating. So I gotta see who our next players are.
Yeah, that was pretty devastating, dude. Like, I don't know about you. I wasn't expecting it that fast. We're going to see who's next. Um, actually, do you guys mind, in Mr. Florentio, do you mind if I uh, refill my coffee here momentarily? It'll take me, like, no time. We'll put a timer for me. I have one, I have one minute to get my coffee. Is that fair? Hello? Hello? Weapon. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I'm just going to go run and grab some coffee. I have less than one minute okay. to grab it. All right, go go ahead. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> I would say that'd be cool if you would find maybe like. I'd right. say it's kind of like uh, what is that movie? And we're back. I'm looking for Mr. Grek. A uh, runner? What's that? You know, I should have uh, hooked up another uh, monitor, Florencio. So I can see your stream, too. Frick. Um, yeah, I, that's a feels bad for Benja, for sure. What, what are your thoughts? What, how would you feel if you were that Zurich? What happened? What was the question? Sorry, I was being chat. Oh, no, yeah, dude, if you need to talk to people, too, man, do it. It's, you know what I'm saying? You're screaming. Um, oh, I can't. I can't really talk to them because there's too many delays, so I chat. I type with them. Oh, uh, yeah, right, right. We, I'm just reading to kind of see where everything's at. So I was saying, how would you feel if you were that uh, that Zerg right there? I'd feel like I should have done what I should have known about, which is always just... If you see a Twilight Council, you expect an Archon possible uh, follow-up. It's like the most common build in, in the universe of StarCraft. You know, it's like it's it's so beaten down of a, like, even a noob knows the build. So I'm kind of curious why Hydra didn't, um, you know, stay on top of that. I was shocked. Um, okay, so we've... But he lost the three queens real quick, so, I mean, you can't do nothing after that. It's like, ugh. You have nothing to kill the... Um, the prism yeah man i think that that's was... what happens when you get greedy i mean he's taking a risk he's trying to go for that risk reward you go greedy to go for that late game benefit to win them or you lose because you get too greedy and you didn't have your defense set up so yeah i think that's cutting but... dry yeah that's pretty crazy yo i actually forgot one other thing one, one thing really quick i believe we might switch the best of threes um, because, uh, we had some people drop out. Otherwise, we're not going to have much to, to cast here, especially if games are like that, Florencio, you know what I'm saying? So, the, some people can play their games and whatever, and we can catch some of them in between, you know? Which is kind of like, people are going to be WTF, but hey, man, it's always the wild card tournament here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um... One moment, I did need something else I just forgot about, and what we it's just uh, I'm kind of waiting to see who's on. So, we got Silent Ghost and was it and Lilla Cannon, and then Paco versus Paco versus Dice is, is first. Dice Hammer. Um, round two, I think. Um, what if we do, do the best of threes and the semis? Everybody's gonna be like, wow. Getting a new computer and one of my, my battery came in. Now I gotta wait for the other parts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Battery, huh? For the uh. Yeah, I was like, "What the hell is this? It's freaking heavy as hell." You see, you got an uh, up, like a ups unit for like battery backup. Uh, I don't even know. I'll find out. I just my 
<laughs> I'm like, you were just kind of just rec- you know they they built it and I just trust so <laughs> yeah I, I, I offered I offered some suggestions but I'm like you know what I'm gonna keep out of this poor Florencio is dealing with enough people right now I was like well if, you know if you oh, I let my community you know yeah. let my computer choose and <laughs> That way they, you know, we, we, we did something together, you know, it's, it's a build we did together. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was definitely cool. I, I did like that you did that. Um, guys, bear with me just a moment again. So the players are fuming. I just want to tell the players I love you all. That's a feels test of man, Florencio. They're, they're mad because we're changing this stuff. What's this I hear about this being best of three? Mm. That was a quick match right there. Oh, that's gotta that's gotta hurt. Now everybody's seeing this. This is probably the least professionally done tournament ever made. Next to um Yeah, I think we've done like free ones when I first joined Legion that we've done better like as far as uh, getting it set up but you know what at least there's some money to win you know what i'm saying florencio we're doing it live and never do it live yeah <laughs> all right let's get our next players up so i want to see if paco mike and uh I'm good to go, Ty says. Echo Mike says, I'm ready. All right, he's ready. Let's invite Paco, and we have Dice. All right, I gotta close down Dankcraft, Legion chat, one, two, three. Okay, Testa, here we go. I was gonna say everybody just go to Dankcraft, but I figured with every, we'd go to a queen channel, so we'd have just the people in the tournament in. No, I don't know. What do you mean? Oh no, I just mean because you know there's always a bunch of people in your ch in uh, your channel. You know what I'm saying? In Dankcraft, I figured we just start a clean one for the tournament, and so that way we didn't have to have sort through a million uh -oh. people. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yes. Running oh. So we have Paco Mike versus Dice Hammer. Um, Dice Hammer's from the U.S. Paco Mike is from Mexico, and he is a 5.8k Prodos player. So I believe we have a PVT. This tournament, we have a lot of Terrans in it. We're, the previous one, we didn't so much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, it's <clears throat> how this next game is going to turn out. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. What's up? Oh, well, nothing. Just meta. Gotcha. Um... Damn, I want to have your stream up too, but it's just going to be too much to deal with. I, actually, I can get my laptop after between the next thing. we got to get this show on the road, huh? The people want games. Give us the players. Hey, look at you got a fan in here, Mr. Dice. Up, Dice. Master one Terran player, I believe.
I don't go off of them anymore. Sorry. I don't treat anybody different because their MMR is higher or lower. It's, it's you know. Yeah. Um. I just did it because uh, sh yes. I. I. Okay. Ooh, golden wall. Ben Paco. Oh, it's an interesting map. But you know what like, I'm saying. I figured we'd do the the underdog gets the first veto, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds. It's not sounds saying a that they're a bad. Uh, fair. Not saying they'd be a worse player, you know what I mean? Just to try to, you know, give a little even footing. Yeah. Underdog. And guys, if you can, if you're watching this on either my or Florencio's stream and you're enjoying this, I'd recommend you put both up so you can. Um, maybe get epilepsy or something if you didn't already have or if you do have it you know it'll probably induce seizures or something I'm, I'm not supposed to say stuff like that and it didn't even make any sense but I'm just going with it see Florencio won't get in trouble for that but I, but I will so I, I want his stream up so if anybody's breaking his choppers I can take the flag for it I can get you guys I'd be like Florencio, just DM me on the sidelines and on like Twitter, and I, and then I can say the stuff that you wish you could. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just messing, guys. Florencio loves you, isn't that right, Florencio? <laughs> oh man, I can't say that word so quickly. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that L is strong, you know. Yeah, I mean it. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> I think it's Everdream. Everdream. Hells yeah. Let's I get like it. you. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. So, okay, Golden Wall, Submarine, Dathura. What'd you need, Florence? Yeah, what's, what's wrong? I was, I was like, uh, my chance. Get the oh, yeah. players mixed up. <clears throat> Echo might. Yeah, I've seen him tons of times in the... Um, he gets rammed. Let's see what he's got today. All right. Oh, it's a PvP. That's right. Am I wrong? I thought he was tearing... I'm, I'm like, it's supposed to be the head admin of this thing, Kappa. Anders, what's up, brother? Lilla Cannon uh, played his first match. Uh, it's, by the time you see this, it's going to be after, but... Uh... Oh, no, it's not. I'm... Feels bad, man. We need shorter breaks between games. All right, Holden. By the time I see this, I'll just... <clears throat> all right, ready. Last one was thirteen hours. Ago. Yeah, I'm ready. Probably kick in this. Okay. We might have to remake this. Okay, you want me to get it out? Yeah. Oh, wait. Hydra asked me. I, wait, let's see if they're. I don't think. Oh shoot. I don't okay. think Dice was ready. Sorry, guys. Sure. Everybody's like, you know, we need shorter matches, time between matches and players. Yeah, we got to get these players on the road back to back. They're pl they're waiting. Okay, so we're getting out. Yeah, we're gonna let's remake. We can. Okay. So sorry, folks. We have. Uh... I think. Yeah, I think we should. Well, it's already they're distracted already. Oh, uh, it's up to you guys. They said yeah. it's okay.
so yeah, spawning in the bottom left corner of Everdream LE. After this abrupt start, we have Alpha's Alpha X's Paco Mike. Okay, on the top right, and the blue, our chair player representing RTG or XRTG. Mm -hmm. Dice. Dice Hammer. The logo, RTG. Okay, it's RTG. Yep. Yeah, they remember the game. Uh, we actually remember uh, the game. Yep, game. they're they're a pretty good clan. Of their players are like monster, but uh, we end up having some weekly tournaments, and uh, a lot of those guys will be in. They're friends with some R players. They used to be in. Okay. Like when you say remember the game, what what game are they remembering? Is there a specific one? Mind or you know, I was thinking that too, Florencio. Could, when you guys get to this, if you could answer. And hey, Anders, Florencio, and Dave. He says, "Tappy, you guys are doing this tournament. This is awesome. Th thanks for watching, man. I'm glad you like it. I hope this isn't uh, m my dude, Mr. Florencio's uh, fan base, which includes me, isn't upset that we're doing this." <laughs> All right. So the SCB's checking for a proxy. I deal with that probe actually. So we got a one base opener from our RTG player. Yeah, our Protoss player is doing good. Paco Mike's doing everything solid, solid macro. He's got the Reaper uh, deny. He's got the expansion. He's got the depth. Going to go for the scout. The probe is scouting for the meantime. Knows that there's one Marine, so everything's looking good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Dice has. I have seen Paco's games before. I don't think I've seen Dice Hammer so much. Um, Paco's a pretty, pretty uh, interesting player too. But, oh yeah, look at this. It's early yeah, concussive like shell. It's gonna be a uh, Marauder drop. That's gonna be pretty strong. Or it could be just straight Marauder rush. Yeah. But we do have we got that uh, shield battery. We got a shield battery back at home and. Doesn't matter back. Oh, let's see. I wonder if it's gonna be a Marauder in the front, Hellings in the back. Oh, now, there's man. a chance. Now, as much as I kind of, I like that. Wouldn't you want to go? Like myself personally, I'd prefer to go with the Hellions in the front just to try to sneak in, and the Marauders in the back just because they're so slow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really depends on what you want to pick up. You know, with the uh, with the medevac. So sometimes, yeah, some people run by through the through the front with the Hellions, and then just drop the Marauders with the uh, with the medevac, which is uh, which is a good play right there still, because uh, you can still heal up the Marauders and do a lot of damage. First the army up, and then Hellions come down. Let's see how this goes. Now there is an Immortal right here with the battery shield, so I don't think we're gonna be able to contest this. There you oh, go, yeah. setting up the Hellion. Big Daddy Immortal is going to come save the day. It's micro, but the micro Oof. on the other for Paco Man. Oh, we couldn't get the Hellions through. Nope. That's not good. You uh, literally just slow that. I mean, that, that didn't even do any damage. Yeah, I was... Uh, that push was held really well. Yeah. Uh, I, this is not good for Dice. This is a very slow start now. I mean, I do like that he's got that defensive tank. He's going a Raven? Interesting. Yeah. But you're right, he's behind. His, he doesn't have the fast expand, and Paco Mike was able to just, you know, macro up. Yeah, now Dice is on the, on the back end, and uh, Paco Man Mike is getting a, a third, which is really going to go into... A, Strong late game Protoss player. It's not good. Ice is going for a reactor on the th on the starport. Um, and we got Stem. Blink is about to finish for Mr. Paco Mike, and we do have his Robo Bay about to complete as well. So let's see if he goes. He's going Blink Stalkers. I think we're gonna see. With this comp, he's probably going to go Blink Stalker Disruptor. Yeah, 
What do you think? I don't think he's gonna go Colossus. He might, but. Ooh, Panko Mike. Panko Mike could pretty much do a, a solid, like Charge Law Archon Immortal Stalker. You right. know, he's go, but he's he's open in Blink though. You know, just a poking. Yeah, yeah, but Blink is just a. Poking. Oh, he's getting it's, Colossus. Go ahead. You go in there, you poke around, you don't do too much, but you just kind of like keep them engaged. Ooh, losing that. Haven's really bad. Yep, and we got the Colossus with Thermal Lance coming. Is Are we going to blink in with four stalkers? Possibly. Yeah. No, you need actually probably five for one-shotting us. SCD, SCD has a little more extra. If we're going to take out How are we going to do this? Oh. They know what's good. Dice knows what's going uh, on. Yeah, but I mean that's the objective of the Blink Stalkers. They're they're just here to kind of keep the Terran uh, at bay, which is allowing the Protons to keep macroing up. Yeah, look at he's got his third fully saturated at seven minutes. The army supplies is yeah, it's pretty pretty good for a Protoss player because you're looking at a lot of uh, barracks. Those are a lot of tanks, though. Um, they are, but now we know that the Terran's possibly going to move out, so that's going to allow to uh, Uncle might start ch making his units. What is it going to be? Charge lots? Yeah, he's he says, okay, Marine Marauders, tanks. I guess charge lots is going to be the key. Yep. Yeah, mortals. Let's hope that charge. Chron he's probably going to have to chrono that out. He's going to break apart some of the reinforcements right here with these stalkers. Very smart move. Oh, Thermal Lance. Uh, pull back the Terran, force him to not t siege up too, too early and too quick to the base. You don't want him already at your base sieged up. Oh, no. No charge, though. No charge locks. So we gotta pull back. Oh, my God. There goes the charge. Out the t the beef. One tank remains. Oh, this disruptor! Oh, he just gets an SCV. Oh, Seventeen workers killed. Wait, we missed. I missed that. Oh, uh, with the disruptors. Yeah, the disruptors up at the or what it was happening at the Terran's base. I was watching the Terran pushing on. Dice was pushing on Paco and. He's gonna have to pull back. Oh. Oh, look at we got some blink stalkers. Good game, well played. Good game. And they were good sports about it. Tackle Mike. Winner. Um, that was interesting. You know, too bad that early harass didn't do well enough. I wonder how how it does usually when he does get get it through. Seemed like Paco Mike was already ready for any kind of like harass from the high ground. His stalker's ready. Observer in the front. Yeah. For any run buys. Yeah. Expecting two a two prong attack. And um, I'm checking to see who we're casting next. Let's see what we got. Um, I got messages here too, all over the place. Of course, in Discord. Anybody that gets this message, feel free to text me that has my phone number to help us out because I'm kind of a dunce. No, I'm not giving everybody my phone number either. For the love of Christ. <laughs> Could you imagine that, Florencio? Like, oh yeah, here's my number, like whatever. Oh my God. Disrespect, yeah. I'm effing. I've been waiting too long. Oh no. Oh shit, the timer starts. Disrespect left. Disrespect? Wait, I see. he was here for a while. Take off right now? 
So how's uh, how's how do the players are the players all in a lobby uh, and they're just waiting or they are in a game ready to go kind of thing? Yeah, they've been waiting for like an hour. They're like they're all in. Some of them have played their matches. I'm gonna just type in chat here. Let's let's see if we can get a okay. hold of those guys. I wish Greg was back. His uh, he was usually my brains on managing the. Uh, Challenge, so I should have actually done that. That would have made it easier for us, you know, <laughs> in the long run. Yeah, yeah, just for later, you know, just to. It's true the people don't like to wait. Yeah, he, he's this respect was felt a little. Oh, okay, cool. We got Silent Ghost and Lily Cannon. Mr. Ghosty me with the mosty. Okay. And then Hydra and Kyrus. All right, so we got to get this show on the road. So right now we have both of those two. We have versus Ghost. Oh, I thought it was Silent Ghost. Oh, it yep, is. It, it, yep, Silent Ghost. We need to say Ghost. He is the one, the only... Silent cheese. Oh wait, wait what's uh, it's invite Where'd ghost go? Kind of thing. Did you disappear? Uh no, I'm still here. It looks like you're in a game. Yeah, in your game. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm cool. Here. So everybody we have we're all ready to go. We have uh little Lilla Cannon, aka Little Bunny versus Silent Ghost. Poor Mr. Mr. Disrespect, if you are watching this, I don't blame you if you're tilted. He's like, I don't have time for this to get wrecked by Lilla Cannon. Don't have uh, such little faith in yourself. Anything's possible. You know what I'm saying? As Florencio said, it's just MMR, man. Yeah, sometimes just getting in there, you know, playing it. You might get lucky. You might even break their brain occasionally, too. There's another alternative, you know? Always good to be the underdog, you know? That's pressure. Um, I gotta ask. Is that AKA Xer? Oh, oh. Hang on, I'm gonna ask Greg. Okay. Greg. Hey Greg, are we on best of threes? Question mark. Yes, everybody can laugh at me and my boomer. Uh... Here we go. I was gonna mess with the ghost. So ghost is a really solid Zerg player. Yeah, and you okay. hadn't seen him yet, but he is definitely known to do any. He he plays really interesting builds, so he certainly can cheese. You know what I'm saying? And I I wouldn't be surprised if we see a cheese game. So this could be fun, you know. What does cheese mean to you? Um, non-conventional builds. Okay. That's how I look at it. I don't know about you. <laughs> sounds blanketed. Sounds, sounds fair. All right, so introduce, introduce your guy. So in the upper right corner, we have Lila Cannon from E-Punks, representing Terran. And uh, on the left, his opponent. The teal color, it is Silent Ghost representing Legion. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, Ghost is building drones. Look, look, Helen is open and standard so far. Going for a hatch first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
standard here. Possibly gonna go for a command center first, which is standard from here. We're looking good, macro, maybe. Now, um, Anders is rooting for Little Bunny. I, you know, I like Little Bunny here. Lila Cannon, he's a really cool guy, really cool player. Incredible, but I gotta root for my buddy Ghost. He's kind of a jerk sometimes, but we still love him. <laughs> hey, he's doing good. Let's see. I'm just being honest, Florencio. He can be. <laughs> but that's why we, oh. that's part of his charm, I guess. His charisma. His charisma is being an asshole on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're going to go for a, just, uh, like Waiting for the third over here For li Lilikin li Lilikinin, what? Yeah, just call him Little Bunny, it'll be easier or is it, it, He's is from it Denmark little, yeah. Is it Little Cannon? Is what he's he trying to say? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking You know, I, I like that Little Cannon I don't know if I Dude, that could be a good uh, name for an alt account for you. If you ever want to no. change it up. You can no. be like... Nah. I don't like people changing my names. No, I pick my name. Yep. Hey, your I'm names are better than mine name. on here. I got my own name and then I got... Bark Bamplar is in your Dankcraft clan tag. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't want anybody to dress you up, would you? No. Not would I. Oh, we got some... Six links. Link speed. Alright, this points. SCV is pretty much checking that there's no third. And if there's no third, what is it gonna be? A, a Ling Bane? Gonna be roaches? That's the question, but I think he's just gonna take a later third. Yeah, I can. Oh, shit. Um. In seconds. Check. He's really checking if there's roaches or if there's gonna be a layer tech or something. Cause I mean, usually you just there's gotta be something. So Ghost is notorious for psyching players out into thinking he's gonna do one tech path and then really go the other. So the Roach Morin could just be there to confuse uh, yeah, he the hell out of him. He could uh, be. He wanted to go for him. Yeah. He was trying to hide it. It was a good hide, but it was just the Reaper just weaseled him way through. But it really is supposed to be a Roach Warren, but he's supposed to look like it's going to be like a Ling Bane bust. Well, I will say this. <clears throat> I've seen Ghost open like this, and this definitely looks like the build. But out of nowhere, he switches the two base Muta. Well, I think that's reactionary to what you see your opponent doing. So I think he'll just kind of like based on what he sees, decide which direction he wants to go. Oh my god, but, look at this, he's going, Lilla Cannon's going straight to Battle Cruiser, or is he going hi Hyper Flight Rotor Banshee? Let's see. Whatever the fuck, but you know what I'm saying. PCs, possibly. I mean, the only reason you would need a uh, Fusion oh. Core other than that is greater range. That's not going to happen. So we have yeah. the... Second Two gas take. Yep, he's got the second gas taken on his gnat. And we have three other drones, so he's not going for a third where we're going. Yeah, not anytime soon. That that BC is gonna be there, but figure it out after two on a two base or kind of expect maybe a possible muta switch. Which in that case, BCs aren't the best versus corruptors. Nope. Look at this hard wall. Yeah. I don't actually think that's really good for Zerg if the Terran gets a good range area right there, because well, the, maybe the Vials, the Vials will be able to push them off. But we're going for ground army. Double double evolution chamber just just screams out ground. It's like, yep, you're going ground. So he's going for a Roach Ravager push. After all, because he didn't take that fourth gas in his main base. Yeah, he's going for layer tech for upgrades, I believe, just to increase, get his 2-2. Two -two. 
Oh my god. Ghost knows what's up. He's gonna be not so silently raging right now. Yeah. Did you like that it's only one BC though? You know, it's it's possibly just like a fake oh. out BC. Oh, well, there's there another one. <laughs> I wouldn't do that too often. I mean, if he sees you go BCs, I mean, I feel like corruptors can easily crush the BCs where you yeah, want we, a baby. And we got double queen production, so that's good. Oh, Ghost is going for a push. Maybe he'll keep the BCs light. Oh, he won't just. Because the uh, bats are getting set up. Oh, nice. Nine to third. Even longer. Right here, you can take out that queen with the most energy. Yeah. Wipe out all three queens. Now, on the other side of the map, Ghost is making a big aggressive push. The battle cruiser is going. He only has three oh, Ravagers. Fair. We got a tank on the high ground. Oh, the tank versus these roachers is not looking good for Ghost. He's losing a lot of army. Oh. And we... I'm back for those queens. Where's he going? Yep. Because fire on the drones. Nice. Oh, no. Come on, Brenda. Come on, Esther. Oh, no transfusers. Oh my god. And Biles are sh shooting the Terran ter uh, natural. I believe we already got it controlled now. It's on the way. We're pretty much all in on this one. Christ, this battle cruiser is doing some work. Here we go. We're gonna get another attack coming in. The wall has been built, and there's more tanks this time, so it's getting harder. Oh, that battle cruiser just makes it. Does it? No. Did it? I don't think it did. It just tell did it die in teleport? Yeah, it died right as it teleport. That's amazing. That, does that doesn't happen too often, you know, right at that second. Hard nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that was that wild. Flew. It just yeah teleported to another dimension. That's exactly what I was gonna say. It went to the like the fifth dimension or some shit, man. With the fabric of space. Yeah. So. Ghost still doesn't have anything that shoots up, other than queens. No ravagers, but he's getting inspired. He's trying to get inspired, and he does have spores coming. Does he transfuse? No, no, the wrong queen dies. <clears throat> oh, isn't that good? This is not looking good for Ghost. Goes oh, the most. Are we gonna be able to take out the spire now? Oh, it's not gonna come. Oh up. no! Come on! The queens. Uh, oh, that spire's uh, going down. Oh no! Cancel. There's not much ghost to do. Hydra is then coming up instead. But with these BCs right here, and the Terran's able to procure his third behind this, so that's extra scary. go oh my god this is a hammer hit right here ghosts get the... wrecked oh the hydras does he have enough money the yolo move is kicking in oh no <laughs> for real <laughs> bro this is uh this is for narnia No 
those vultures know they're dead and they just want to live a little longer. Yeah, man. I, I... So, like, we don't have any really good use. <laughs> yeah, we don't have much use, so we're just going to go try and die with we're honor. Gonna we're we're going to hide. Yeah. Can't do nothing. Shoot up. It's poor range. So... You know, I feel like this is like IRL Roaches versus the Orkin Man in this match, Florencio. I don't know about you. Well, you know, it's just really like, it all depends on your planning. It was a two base play for Zerg. You so he was pretty shot. committed. Yeah. yeah. And I think the BT really threw him off. I mean, he wasn't expecting it. It, it was like a... This was the game I, I was hoping Ghost would have done his Roach Psych out. If he did a Roach Psych out to Spire, it would have been perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But, unfortunately, he was committed. Surprisingly, though, I've seen him actually beat guys with this build that go Battle Cruiser. Wait, look, at, sure. look at this missile turrets. Oh my god, I don't think I've seen this, but look at there he's gonna use building missile turrets to BM I'm out to kill these Obies. Oh wow, that's how distracted Silent Ghost is that he not <laughs> even <laughs> He's gonna know now. Little Bunny, well that's that is an interesting plot twist of this yeah. game. So what do I do with this SCV? I have it here. <laughs> the turret. I don't know about you, but I'll say this game is not boring, that's for sure. In my yeah, opinion. I've not seen people missile turret attack overlords. I think that was just to be like, alright buddy, you lost. But Oh look at the drones! He's pulling the boys! Oh no. He's pulling yeah, the every boys! Everything's coming. He's pulling the overlords and the queens! Everything. Get it all over there. Is Ghost gonna hold the pause button down for me and say, Terran Imba, Re? No, EGGs. What a good sport. GG. See, I was hoping we'd get a little salt from this. I guess the closest thing, I might actually. We gotta get our next players up. Okay. Uh, cause we were told. We're ready. All right, let's see who is up next. Okay, next up, we have Greg message me. Hydra versus Kyrus. So bear with me, I'm just gonna put this up here. This should be an interesting match. Okay, nice. Another interesting game. Let's see, the last one I was. The Roaches, I guess he gets a really good Roach count, comes in with upgraded Roaches and just steamrolls the natural. Uh, usually. Skid Wait, Paco, did. Mike? I. Where is Kyrus? Oh, you did. Isn't there, isn't there like a thing? A commercial where this guy screams Taco Mike? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Oh Taco my god. Hi, oh, Greg. Shit. Greg. I'm gonna message him chat. Re. Re. Greg. I'm so bad at this, guys. Florencio, thanks for doing this, man. You see what happens when I'm not, like, shit-faced like the last time and Gamer Richie's not here with you. It's all good. You know, Ga Gamer Richie actually reached into the sewers to find me. Like, quite literally. Isn't that true? Or, Gamer Richie, Florencio. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Did you? Sewers, yeah. yeah, that's... So that's how I met you. He he, he reached in the sewers to find me and he... he, he uh, 
He kicked me to the sewers of California for a minute or something. Sewer pipes. I, I, uh, so best of three or best of one. This is the semifinals? Is it really? All right, hang on. We got to get the players. B03. <clears throat> Is there a Twitter I could put? Yeah. Okay, the Twitter. LGN underscore community. If you look right here. So we actually have Hydra versus Paco, I think. All right, so. Oof. So thank you everybody for watching and especially thanks to Florencio. I hope we can do something a little less uh, chaotic in the future. But actually have some help with brackets and stuff more. Would you be down, Flo? If it was a little more organized than this one. <laughs> a cheese fest. Like, you know what I'm Man. saying. You know, things, things get better in time, you know? I'd like to do something with Danecraft and Legion. I think that would be fun, because you know what I'm saying. I, I'm part of your community, too, technically, you know. <laughs> yeah. True. But Legion's pretty cheesy too as a whole. You gotta see some of our diamond players and stuff. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. I don't really like treat it as like a clan on my side. It's, uh... Yeah, it's just, it's a but it's a community, you know. And truthfully, we're not like a team, but we kind of are. You know what I'm saying? We are, but we aren't. If that makes sense. Yeah. We have a t we do participate in team leagues and stuff, but we, we're more about hanging out and having fun in Legion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. Um. All right, so. Hmm. How about you guys veto by MMR like before each a. Until there are three maps left. Start with Hydra. All right, next tournament, Hydra's in charge of the next Invitational, anyway. Hey, thanks for the hosting. My dude, Lil Cannon. Thank you so much for playing, man. You Absolutely fun to watch. The missile turrets were hilarious. Okay, so we got pillars, ice. Okay, so that leaves. We got submarine, golden wall, and... We're going to do a best of three right here, Florencio, in the semifinals, and then we're going to have our next group in the semifinals. I hope they haven't moved on too much. Second okay. one's Eternal Empire. So, as tired as you are, I don't think this is going to go on as late as the, the last one. On your end, I'm sure you're like, thank you. But, dude, we love you, Florencio. Who, who the hell uh, doesn't love this guy? Appreciate it. No, just the good games, you know, that's all I'm... Yeah, man, it's the... all about the StarCraft. All right, we got to get it rolling. Two second. Last is Deathora. Okay, so that leaves us with... Pillars, Ice, Eternal, Deathora. So that leaves us with Ether Dream, Golden Wall, and Submarine. Submarine... Golden Wall, Everdream, right? 
Oh, never mind. Okay. Perfect. Ten. I just got it. So it's Everdream. That's why you call me the Oofer Boomer Hydra. <laughs> Oof. Feels bad, man. Wait. Don't worry, Florencia. I almost moved you up there to fight Paco Mike. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a mistake. I'm gonna make us refs. Alright. So we have a best of three. That's a three. PVP. Do you want to do the first honors? Uh, sure. Thanks, dude. Why not? Alright. Begins. Here in Everdream, we have a PB, a top load, top right, the yellow it is Paco Mike, presenting Alpha X. Yep, Alpha what? X, you got it, brother. Okay. And from Cosmos Esports, and a little bit of Legion back before we got Mr. Hydra, or as we call him Max, Max Hydrappen, like Max Verstappen, the Formula One racer to break his choppers. Okay. So this should be interesting. This is where Hydra's gonna be cursing me out in this best of three because he absolutely detests PvP. Like, well, Caveman, I'm down. Caveman, if you wanna help with the next one, I would love to have you and anybody else and anybody in Dankcraft, as long as, if you guys like it, Please let Florencio know too. I'd love to do the, the another one of these, and um, the next tournament I'm gonna be uh, asking the clan to help me out for funding it a little more. <laughs> so Team Legion will be presumably kicking a little money in. I hope. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks, and guys, we do have a match, Reno. If you want to even do these, the coupon code Hope. Um, if anybody in here can post it. There's still a couple coupon codes left, or if you feel like donating, it'll go. It'll get rolled over to the next one. It'll help um, us get some kickback to Mr. Florencio in the future and currently. And please give him subscriptions. Back with Mike scouting the bases. He's checking if there's any proxies. And sees a two gate opener, so. Uh, the only thing that he doesn't see is the second pylon, which is normally a big tail. So he zaps the pylon and lets them know, hey, where's your pylon? Yep. Because uh, uh, there's a missing pylon, and there's no nexus yet. So usually a nexus kicks in before seven minutes core if you're going for an expand like that, or a pylon here, so that you can see an adept shade come in, so you can get a battery shield up. There's not a pylon, there's no nexus. Yeah, I think he's going for the... Hydra tends to open at the standard old school, like, 253 timing for a nexus. You know, opening with the double... When he opens a double stalker. Oh, he's going a little earlier. Nice. Up the pylon. Now, Hydra could just plant a pylon anywhere just to make the, um, the opponent feel a little bit worried. You know, that is a mind game play. Um, yeah. Kind of like hiding a proxy re a reaper right uh, proxy racks right next to your base and then floating it back over home and expecting the protons to think that he's getting proxy. It's almost in that same line, I believe. Yeah, I don't believe there's starport here any. Yeah, it seems like in the grandmaster meta. I don't know about you. You probably did see that in Masters League too, um, Florencio, where they it's kind of in the meta to build a proxy pylon and just play standard. Um, oh, I I, I kind of noticed I anyway. I really like follow the meta. I just follow the game. Yeah, dude. And <laughs> That's what I love about your plan. <laughs> you literally, 
I think that's the way to play the game, in my opinion. As well. Alright, we got a stalker attack. We could recall back home if we need, uh... That we got that aggression. Oh, the depths though. Two adepts at the main base. Oh no! no. This Hy oh Hydra didn't get a surround. We got pylon, uh, pylon wall right here would have done great. Oh no! The adept shade. Does Hydra move his probe? He's gonna surround. Oh look at he gets a nice surround on the adepts. Oh, well, one of them anyway. Decent. I mean, we had decent eight recovery. workers. Eight workers killed. Yeah, that is. It uh, feels bad, man. It was uh, really trying to go for the stalkers. I think one stalker was enough. You can't really chase the other one. Stalkers can't outrun stalkers. So I think taking one stalker and, like I said, recall back home just for any kind of like. You're not going to need it for anything else. Unless you want to chrono boost. Yeah, he's chrono boosting. But I don't know. Sometimes. Look at how many like... workers ahead Paco Mike is. He's at 40 to 27 now. A lot. Yeah. Definitely. And they're both going blink. Ten, about 11 workers ahead, 12 workers ahead. That's it's pretty big in the early game. And uh, still not getting a battery shield as a wall. Gonna be running around. <laughs> oh my. There you go. There you go. Battery shield. Oh my god. And you get the you get the soccer's a little closer to the front, so he doesn't uh, have that benefit of shading comfortably and i have some asshole honking his horn outside that's fantastic there you go honk at action all right taco mike going for that third now the one thing is paco's got a robo and hydra does not hydra's completely on gateway tech but he's going for plus one so, with no War Prism, I'm actually a little afraid for Hydra on this one. But he will, if he can get plus one out. Probably gonna get a Nexus right now, now that he's gonna move out for a little harass. Oh, look at that pilot, or the battery. This battery shield. That, again, he does another battery block, and that was pretty That's clutch. Good. Yeah, should have been. Oh no! Been Don't drop it, there. Hydra! Don't drop it, Hydra! Warped actually, almost it. dropped it, and he canceled. That was actually good, but he didn't even start it. A oh, plus one's about to finish. Hydra needs to buy time. Garden shield. I mean, the garden shield up kind of gives you like almost like a plus one armor. Yeah, it's sense. against so range, like yeah. So that's going to kind of nullify the upgrades of plus one if he can pull more of those, but he used a lot of energy on some force fields there. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, no, Hydra supply blocked, but he's got two, two pylons finishing. What a difference in play from our players. Hydra delayed his robo really late. He is transitioning the charge, and so is Paco Mike. But Paco Mike's got... He's got disruptors. He's got some balls, man. Yeah, he's definitely got light bulbs. Oh, my goodness. Stalkers are coming in. Blink stalkers, so they're not gonna be. Um, and that's that hallucin. Yeah. Oh, look at more adept pressure with that hallucinated Phoenix. So if you look, Hydra's. Th these guys are both um, high enough league players where everything's on control group, so they're multitasking the hell out of this. Paco Mice. Oh, look at that blink split from Hydra. For us. But uh, seeing Paco Mike with that many workers on third and then... Um, oh, man. Not on I, the third yet, That's that must make it hard to see. The it's, only thing Hydra, like Hydra could, could get 
in this game, I feel, is if he gets the... Yeah, he's getting Disruptors out. If he can hold and somehow keep his army alive and procure this third, he's ahead on upgrades. So if he can buy time... Oh, Paco's getting a... He has a, the Warp Prism speed. I didn't see that, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. My bad. I feel, I feel like Immortals would do good for Paco Mike more. Yeah. Um, and well, disruptors. Just... See if he's good with his disruptor shots. Yeah, this is going to be the thing. It's... Oh, look at that blink from Hydra. Blink. Damn. Damn. Battery overcharged but shut down because he sniped the pylon. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, are you seeing this? Okay. Oh, he might be able to take out that Nexus right now. I think he's gonna just do it. Oh! Yeah. Taking out the Nexus is just, just as good right here. Not gonna be able to. Oh, look at that guardian right. shield doing some utility for Hydra, though. It did help him a bit. I mean, that's about all he could do. It looks like Hydra lost this game. Oh man, what a game! Interesting game one. Oof. These two adepts did really good damage Oof. in the early game. Out uh, Paco Mike to get a ten worker advantage. So we're going to look at our next... We're at Eternal Empire. PvP is a tough matchup, man. You know what I'm saying? I think mirror matches in general are always felt that way. Yeah. You know, even Terran Terran, Zerg Zergs, there's, there's, you know, just the fact that it's mirror match, it does give it a little stress dealing with the same type of units. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to harass with these units like this, not you. <laughs> But, um, yeah, learn to embrace it. That's the only way. Even if you don't like it, you have to learn to like it. Yeah, I agree, Florencio. That's, that's I have true. my times I get so tilted with it, but you know what? Then I get games where I get cannon rushed, and they build a million cannons, and I'm like, you sucker. I have a proxy base. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. It's mind games. Let's see. So Paco see Mike, you but, took the first one. All right, I'll take the bottom. Bottom right. left, an Eternal Empire in the red. Our Protoss player with the cool StarCraft 1 Nexus. It is Hydra. Absolutely, I like that Nexus. And in the upper right, just having the vanilla Nexus, we have Alpha X's Paco Mike. Thank you, players, and anybody who's still watching. It's probably mostly Legion. Um, appreciate you guys and anybody who's trickled in from Mr. Florentio's stream. But uh, I'd like to thank our players for putting up with this uh, rough, roughly set up tournament. But we did have people canceled on us, is what happened two times, and on the EU side. So it's it's it, it is what it is, you know. Eight opener, two on gas at the moment. Yeah, 16 workers, gas next. So we're going for that macro opener. On this side, 15 workers, not 16. Two gas on each. Yep. So, slightly different, but yeah, it mean something totally different each one. Echo Mike is going for just consistent macro, and um, Hydra is going for micro, but gas importance. So we have a, a slight skill 
difference between the players, but in my opinion, I feel these guys are pretty on pretty even footing. You know what I mean? Like they're they're pretty close from when we watched the last game. In fact, they're out the MMR. You know what I mean? Well, skill really is hard to track per player. I, you know, it really depends on what skill they're each best on, which areas. You know, because the beginning might be pretty good on both players, but there might be certain skills. At different points of the game and stuff, yeah. yeah. I'm with then you. Then those skills might not pop out. You oh know, my god, you... Hydra's doing three gate robo. Or is he doing two gate robo? Uh, he, he kills that pylon. He gets a free hundred minerals. Oh my god, this guy. This is going to be scouted by Paco Mike. That's not good for Hydra. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not good at all. And that's... The Immortal's not going to be able to come out. There is a problem in the map to be able to make another pylon, worst yeah. case. And it is. But it's. That's... He's got two... Uh, Hydra's in a position where he can distract these stalkers. He gets the first hits on the stalkers there, but there's four. Four stalkers come in. Oh. Hydra is gg He knows he's too far behind, but... Oh. That's a shame. Hey, Nightlight, what's up? Have to I do it like Husky and start Bronze League Heroes. <laughs> Sorry, Florencio. <laughs> oh. Alright, we have to look at our next match. I'm sorry, that was Hydra was a little upset after that one, I think, but he did GG. Yeah, I think his robo location is uh is too close. To the enemy, I think a little more to the right, to the bottom, would have been uh, harder to spot or take a little longer. Because when you have a robo and immortal like that, I don't think distance is is the problem. Go get there. It's more just making sure you can get it up. All right, I think we're having caveman do the vetoes now, but okay. Oh yeah, so that's cool. Uh, I wanted to invite him to the Discord server for the tournament. Um, who had voice problems? Oh yeah. So. Holden and we have uh, my dude Holden from Team Legion versus Lilla Cannon. So we have a PVT coming up. Holden, we have a meme in the clan amongst my the higher masters players in, in Legion that they joke around that he's just a cheese master. All he does is cheese, but it's honestly it's it's a joke. So, but it's, so if oh. anybody sees Holden, yeah, he, he he can, but he's honestly a pretty standard Protoss player. Yeah, um, I was being told one of my viewers asking me uh, mm -hmm. about the one probe difference, where one was going 15 probe minerals versus and you know, versus the 16. Been into the gas, and um, yeah, it's pretty much when you go 16 workers and then go into gas afterwards, you're going for a macro play. Um, but when you go into gases early, not having 16 workers, you're going for a uh, pressure build. You know, so there's Bend two. Death there's is two. asking, oh, what is that? Sorry. Bend what? Was that in range of the tower, Benja asked, about the game? It's two minutes behind. I didn't mean to cut you off. It's hard to tell if it was close. I didn't check, but it was, it, I mean, it was really close. I thought it was close too, yeah. It was. Uh, that's still an area that's really close to scout also you know i put it a little further to the right you know past the base because that's an area that you usually do see proxies in the first place so you don't want to be that guy that makes it in the same spot everybody makes it so guys yeah exactly the the players are starting the matches for us they did everything to speed it along um that's kind of cool for right because i realized how much I, i'm Caveman, thank you so much. He's a loyal Dankcraft dude. And he's also in Legion. Good man. Mind if I get this guy? Go ahead. 
We have E-Punk's Lilla Cannon, again, who made it to the semifinals of this Legion Invitational. Representing E-Punk's in the upper right corner of Everdream LE. And on the bottom left, in the Proton skin, it is representing Legion. Hold it. Do you know about Holden's style? Hold, uh, he does a bunch of stuff. I haven't been watching him right recently, but Holden. Game paused. Oh, I forgot to make his refs too, because they went on. Holden does a bunch of different things. I've seen him go smoking another butt, dude. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, you know. Sorry, guys. You know, nothing but the most professionalism over here, at Kappa. All right, so we got uh, Gateway. Where the we're gonna deny the Reaper. She tells me we're gonna go into a standard play. Standard players block the Reaper out, and uh, we got a quick Rax proxy or Reaper harass. In Florencio and Chad, I heard something about the tower. We had somebody using uh, some good game knowledge. They mentioned the tower has 19 range. The Zelnaga. Interesting. I never knew that. Yeah. If you know what 19 range looks like. It looks like... You better not build a pro... Range distances. It's like... A Tempest is what, 10? So, like, the, how far it shoots? So you're talking almost like a double, double Tempest. I don't know how far that really sh In range-wise, can you really put a ruler and say this is 16 in range? It's hard to gauge it, but I think yeah. you can't. I don't do that. What I do is I look at the uh, tower and I find the spot where the, the, the shadow ends and that's where I memorize. I memorize me that area. Yeah, exactly. Me too. <laughs> I, can't memorize. I can't just go, okay, this is 16 range from right here to here. Just about yeah. uh, just my eyesight. Can't do that. I can only memorize by knowing the shadow lines and go, okay, this is the shot. This is the tail for me. Yep. We got a nice little battle going on over here. Oh, well, I don't know God. if it's a battle or if it's lovemaking, but that, yeah. uh, should we show, are we supposed to show that? Yeah, I know, right? It looks a little dirty. That Reaper's getting awfully close to those probes. Oh, this Reaper, how many does that? We didn't actually, two kills, okay. Yeah, three kills. kills. Oh my goodness. Holden's getting right. hit pretty hard. Now, I think Holden's in a good, might be in a good mind frame despite this. Um, he was a little nervous earlier, but he's like, nah, man, I get experience to play against the, you know, former pro player, possibly, and, uh... Um, bunker's awkward, though. That bunker being right there is all is definitely awkward for a Protoss player. Yeah. You have to wait to get a good amount of units to be able to break it. Yep, and, and uh, I try to... Battery the yep. battery should have could take care of it now. I mean... I like that. Yeah, look, and he forced the Reapers away from the bunker, so he's just gonna go back. And he's killing the SCV, that's actually huge. If he gets that SCV, that's gonna shut that down right away. With the battery. Oh! Okay. We're getting a scan to the base, see what he's up to. He does see a blink. He says he's sees a twilight, he knows it's Oh, look at the adept's out of range of the bunker. Oh no. Oh, one of the Reapers goes down. Okay, now we got two stalkers. This should be all right. Surprised he didn't make the Marines inside the bunker. So we um, saw we saw this build before out of Lilla, uh, Lilla Cannon. Yeah, yeah. It usually comes with Banshees. This one. He's got the Cyclone Mike. coming with the uh, lock on upgrade. Oof, I don't like these probes going down, but the Marine's slowly just chiseling, but there's going to be a second one out. But you had to make the decision on whether to kill the Bunker and the Reaper, or is he going to go take out the Marines? Oh, he's actually he's losing a lot of probes here. Does yeah, he he's got to take this. Yeah. 
Oh no, and then Cyclone's behind this with no battery? He's That's hard. Apart. Oh, but he's got Blink! Ooh, Holden has to save... Open. He has to save these Stalkers if he wants to do anything, because Blink's about to finish, and that actually could help him against these Cyclones. Oh no! Florencio, is this hurting your Protoss side of you watching those? Not really, because that's a standard Protoss, because the so standard Protoss, I really don't. Um, the loss is there. I mean, they're in training. <laughs> True. So Holden, we want to see, oof. We want to see some different decision making jesus christ coinbase he played, he played okay but uh he let his bunker he let the bunker finish and then those marines were killing a lot of probes and his it was yeah it got it got a bit messy pretty quick for holden so we're looking at ice and chrome next we're gonna invite you in okay beautiful I love you, Holden. Don't be nervous. <laughs> You're doing fine. It was just unfortunate how some of that it happens. Happened. It happens to us all. That's a tough build to deal with, truthfully. You know what I mean? Unless you were open in a certain way. You know? Oh, when you're very, like, cookie cut build, then you're going to be. Yeah, you got to adapt. Much. They're gonna know yes. what you're gonna do. They know your timing. They know it's you're gonna have to make sure you're on your point of scouting everything and seeing if your part's safe. You know, on the top, on the top right, <laughs> our green player, a Terran player representing E Punks. It is Little Cannon. And in the bottom I left, I think it's like. Yeah, go on. Sorry. I think it's like Lil 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 Cannon. Lil like Cannon. Lil Cannon. Yeah, he's Danish. Uh, um, Anders actually got him in here. Who I met, like I said, I met him from uh, your Discord. You know, he's yeah, one of your active like viewers. Accent, Lil Lil. You no. Know? And I want to thank Caveman Jack for helping out with the bracket too, as well as Greg and Mr. He's Anders for. Yep, Caveman Jacks has been helping out with our bracket too, man. Isn't that cool? Nice. Appreciate the help, guys. All right, so Holden's coming in for the scout. I'm gonna see anything other than two supply depots. But that's pretty much a good tale already. Two supply depots. Yeah, he should. That he's got a. Oh yeah, if he doesn't notice that his probe's not pathing. Oh look it, he scouts it. Now, what do you think when you see it? Usually when I do that, I go double gas and I build a proxy. I already am on my way to build a proxy pylon for my proxy dark shrine. And then delay oh. my... <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's how I do it if I see that. So they're going to think that they're going to have all the push and aggression. And I just try to buy time for a couple of DTs, which they're usually not expecting. And I make it look like it's standard and it's not. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Makes sense, uh, the, yeah, because they can be aggressive and think that they're going to be going to your base surprisingly, and they get surprised. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, my stuff will look like it's standard macro a lot of times, but I usually, like, I love proxies in weird ways, you know? Yeah, I'm just curious what this build's going to be, because it's it's uh, definitely one base again. Uh, oh, wait, he took... Well, he did take a command earlier, and we don't see any proxy reaper or anything there. And we do have a proxy from Holden. I wonder if Holden's going to do the Dave Testa. He is in, in the same clan as mine, in the same community, you know? Possible. I mean, he does have a Twilight Council, so... There is a chance, but... He'll take an expo. Oh, look it! I think we're gonna see it! The, the twilight finished? Oh, we see a gateway. Oh, 
Oh, he's not starting up his. We do build. the Dark Shrine. Holden is doing the Dave Tester build. For memes or yeah. dreams? See how this goes. On the other hand, we have Terran player. <laughs> going for macro. Alien drop is going to be on the menu. Now. If you notice, Little Cannon has no reactors or tech labs in this 1 1 1. Oh, buddy, this is going to be wild. I hope we see a game 3 out of this. Four Marines are headed over. Hellions to go for the draw. So this is going to be the Marine at the front. Distraction into the Hellion run by from the top. Now that could really, really hurt. Yeah, yeah. But look at the timing. The Dark Shrine is almost done too. So I still think... Oh, the battery sh shield is coming down in the, nat the main base too. So if that finishes, it's going to be close. Let's find out. Ooh. Alden, we need some re reaction. We have, a we have a Dark Templar coming out. Oh, Alden's tat is tipped. Yeah, he knows that the DTs are there, so he's going to probably start. And a Raven's coming. He got an engineering bay. He's keeping the doors closed. He's getting. He has a scan. Gonna uh, deny the uh, DTs. But 12 work. Oh, 12 workers going on. Look at this micro from Lilla Cannon. But the DTs over here um, are getting some damage done to him because. So Holden's trying to do anything he can, but that Raven is going to be a big problem for Holden. Let's see how many workers yeah. he can do. He's at least getting some worker kills, which we've not. Oh no, Holden. Holden, I think you gave. <sighs> I think I think you shouldn't have quit. Anything for the harass, though. See that that you gotta have some type of harass defense too. When you rush or DTs like that, you're literally opening yourself up to a lot. But I don't think he needed a GG. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those like you have to just go, I guess, all in. You know, I call those cross your fingers because you're you're hoping he doesn't come in for that kind of attack because that is a, the weakness, the Hellion drop. Ugh. So guys, yeah, that was that, that was rough. And I mean, Holden tried his best for pulling something out. He can get you if uh, you know. It's one of those that doesn't happen often. The Hellion run by us, but yeah, he can catch you off guard. So we are in the finals. We have Lilla Cannon versus clearly outclassed, he said. No, Holden. Holden is probably the nicest guy I'll meet, too, Florencia, to be honest. Got to see what our final players are. Damn, this was short. We had people leaving on us. This was the problem with this tournament all, all along. Versus Holden, Vito's are done. Who is in? Oh, Lilla Cannon's in here too. Um, he's streaming. And guys, thanks for um, viewing. As messy as this is, I appreciate Florencio's time. Anybody ever wants to hop into, it's Dave Testa LGN. And uh, <clears throat> boo, two DTs versus four Marines. Yeah, it does. Um, two DTs can beat like 12 Marines. <laughs> Who's up in the finals? Oh, thanks for hosting Little Cannon again, yeah.
Uh, who's our final player with Lilla Cannon? I got to look at the bracket. I think the bracket was getting updated or something. It's Lil. Bill. Lil. Lilla Cannon. Lil. Like you know, it's little, but little. Lil. 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 Slang. Slang. Embarrassing, no. it, embarrassing it is that Dave didn't get his name right. You don't yeah. know you don't know anything about that, do you, Florentio? <laughs> Always perfect the first time. I'm just messing with you because my, my viewers' names perfectly the first time, all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, don't even know it, you know. Yep. So, guys, uh. I need a little help here. Let's go, Lilla Cannon. I'm trying to get the thing. I think Greg, Greg must have had to go. Caveman may know. I'm going to look at the challenge. We're holding up for the finals. A shorter series than I anticipated, but, you know. I'll probably cast some replays after. Florentio's probably going to take a nap. He's like, sweet, I can get a nap in. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I got to take a nap. Yeah. Florencio, yeah, would, would it be? I'm probably gonna keep streaming after for a while when we're done with this. Um, okay. If I would appreciate a host, if that'd be cool, I'm just gonna do replays, and I'll try to get whoever's replays that are not in my team <laughs> for a change. Well, I'd always do that, but you know, first. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Um, because I gotta wake up at a decent time today to be able to hang. We got a stream at three in the morning. Oh Jesus, dude! Yeah, it's not good. Paco Mike. Oh, it's Paco Mike and Little Cannon. Yeah, dude. But thanks again, and thanks everybody who showed up for both of us. I know it's not peak time. I'm sorry, you friends. The next tournament I do is definitely going to be catered to the Americans' favor. America, fuck yeah, you know. Oh well. <laughs> what can you do? It's just a time zone thing. We want to make it f favorable to our Australian friends and people in Asia, too. You know, I think it's fair. What up, Sneaks? How's it going? All right, so we're going to get Paco. Paco, Mike versus Lilla Cannon. This is going to be interesting because I don't know if I... Vito Ice and Chrome, Vito Golden Wall. Yeah, yeah. I was waiting for his messages, Caveman. Thank you again, Caveman. Caveman, you're more than just a caveman. You saved me $300 in car insurance. You know what I'm saying? Yes, this is probably my 500th cigarette on this stream. You know I do that, Florentio? What? I smoke butts, man. I gotta switch to, uh... They go natural. This stuff is at all kinds of poisons. I want to thank these guys too. <clears throat> Last Empire, okay. So right now we're at um, the show matches. So what we got, Florencio, is 125. Look at my look at my shitty green screen. I'm new to the uh, shit for uh, as far as streaming. I, embarrassingly, I have helped set up a production TV studio before. <laughs> Isn't that some shit, Florencio? 
a production studio setup. Yeah. <laughs> like everything. Yep. I actually have a background in, in audio before, but I work in IT for a high school. But we have a full on studio and we had to redo like a lot of what was done. Yeah. Um, from the engineers and, and the designers. And I had no video experience, so that was wild, but Alright, the finals. I didn't update the thing. We have Lilla Cannon versus Paco Mike. Do you want to get the first guy, my dude? Alright. Poor Florencio. I feel for you, man. You're a... This guy is like one of the hardest working guys in, in the streaming community, with all honesty. Please show Florencio some love, everybody. He, he I respect that. Go. On the bottom left, our Heron player representing E Punks. In the green, it is the cannon. And in the upper right, representing Alpha X, we have Mr. Paco Mike sporting the red trousers as a Protoss player. CV moving out again, proxy possibly. Thanks, Anders, for saying. I love you guys, Anders. KKL. Oh, KKL, I'm sorry. You, did you have money on uh, Destroy? Hey, man, I'm. Just, I can't keep everybody happy. This was a sh shit show. KKL is upset. Destroy uh, or uh, disrespect was felt disrespected. All right, we're going for an engineering bay block. Slowing down our Protoss player. Not going for the barracks this time. Um, me personally, I don't mind even making the barracks right here just to make the, re the Reaper out and block at the same time. Dude, I like that, Florenzi. I've seen you do that before. I forgot to mention that earlier. I, when I'm watching your stream, I, I think that's... Why not? It's an extra 25 minerals, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to let you it get finish... If you're gonna, yeah, exactly. And you could uh, lift it if you really did want to, but not that you have to, but I, I kind of just keep it there and just make more Reapers for a little bit. Um, get that double Reaper intro. But yeah, I mean, I guess engineering bay is more of the common uh, technique. Well, what's good about them for that 125, the one thing I'll say is they got a lot of health. You know? Yeah, you get more health too with it. You know Reaper's going to check the probe. You know, I hope we get to see... It's some wacky stuff this game. Which we are. Yeah. Dude. Uh, Lilla Cannon's a, a, a bit of a... Uh, a nice out of the box player, I feel. You know what I'm saying? Florencio, for a guy that's in GM, it's nice to see somebody who's not uh, not always following what's going on in like GSL and everything in every single build. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, e fresh, fresh thinking. Yeah, exactly. It's you see cheese like from watching your stream where you make it a bit of an art form. Honestly, when you asked me earlier, you're like, "Well, what do you think is cheese?" Good cheese is like a fine aged wine. It's a fine aged cheese. You actually put some thought and creativity in it. But you know, um, sometimes sometimes it's the best stuff comes on the fly. I, I like cheese that kind of starts out with one game plan and adapts like a nice jazz guitar solo you know what i'm saying exactly i agree it's really good stuff to do that because it allows you to um think under pressure instead of folding under pressure all right so the barracks oh so we're going using the cyclone range we're using the barracks to keep the cyclone range hooked on oh he's gonna try to uh, kill the cyber core 
I wouldn't say that that would be a good choice because we have stalkers in the map, but... It's, um... Oh, with Magfield? That could be... Yeah. Get Magfield? I think he could definitely... But I think he should be able to kill these stalkers just... I don't know. Maybe two SCVs or an SCV could be with this composition to kind of um, heal up these Cyclones. Yeah, yeah. So... This Cybercore going down could be big. Because now he's forced, if he, if he, he's going to probably get that, and... Oh, blank. No. I mean, I mean, at this point, you would already expect the Protoss player to make another side just in case. So you can't put your whole hopes on seven edge core snipe. That's why Stalkers would have been the better, like... Yeah, I would have liked him get, I would have liked him on... Uh, yeah, I mean, he still has the Cyber Core. But when he has it's Blink, yeah... I'd take out the two stalkers, then work on the site, site, cybernetic core. Yeah. Because once you're hooked on, you can't lock on for a little bit, so you really want that for the stalker. Because they're really good at killing stalkers, especially with the with the barracks floating around. And yeah, it's uh, it feels bad, man. So it's at the both. at the outcome of this best of threes. Being that everything was kind of a shit show, I'd like to offer some of our players um, the opportunity before I do replay. So, Florencio, if you do have to go and any of your viewers watching, I think I might put a little more money out there and offer some sort of a losers and uh, people who didn't get to play because they didn't want to, they felt like they were a little outmatched. Um, I'd like to put together a little mini tournament at the end if anybody's wanting to or willing to do that. For a twenty dollar prize, I'm sure some people will want to try that out. So it's all on you, buddy. Yep. All right. So now looking at uh, Echo Mike right now, which is in good control at the moment. It's going three bases. We got uh, robotics. Three. Okay, so we're going for a ground army. It's pretty strong. Going for a death ball army. Huh. Yeah. I like the Protoss death ball. Florencio, do you ever miss the mothership core? Yeah, I used it a lot. <laughs> I remember seeing some of your old stuff, dude. It was great. Yeah, it's a good unit. But I think shield batteries are cool though, you know? Okay. Yeah, did a lot in StarCraft 1. It's good techniques with it. Oh my god. The Banshee's back. We saw it once. This game is going to be a little different though. We have Warp Prism Speed. If it can finish. And I think it's going to finish. Unless he goes for that Arctosis Pylon. Yeah. No one the observer. There it goes. He spotted the observer. Knows that it's. Now, I don't know about oh, you. Oh. I'm going to balance mine for a second for everybody here because I think all three race players I talk to frequently. Why the hell nerf the observer speed? That was the biggest uh, low blow to Protoss you could do for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't. Um, I, I still think Protosses should learn how to use the, the, the tech speed upgrade for observers. Yeah, that's true. It's just... But it's I hear you. Like, if you're yeah. against this, honestly, I would have went observe. Well, he didn't know the Banshee was coming yet, but I, I would have personally went observer speed myself, if, but he didn't. the, the Banshee just kind of came out of nowhere, you know? I don't know. I believe if you macro, you're, it's oh. up to you to get it or get it, because... It's a risk reward, you know. So this and guy a lot is of going. Cook. Sorry, it's a corner cutting situation. Yeah, I definitely can see that. But this uh, guy's got so many tanks. Yeah, you can't get in there. You have to get in there uh, strategically, or you know, he because he's always going to engage in attacking you a little bit, forcing you over there, and then squeezing himself. <coughs> oh, buddy. Distance. 
we see a good building coming out for some interesting play. We have a Stargate coming down. I actually like this, but what I don't like is he hasn't built the War Prism and he has War Prism speed. You know what I mean? Especially against this. He did the... Maybe he wanted to get up. Oh, no, we do it. Yeah, I'm with this. I didn't mean to cut you off, but look at the War Prism's there, but now he's giving Lila Cannon time for these missile turrets. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of common in the higher levels. You're kind of you're going to expect that Turtle Terran to have the turrets up right there. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to go in with like three oh. or four prisms and sneak one in there. Now, Florencia, if you look, we have a fourth base going and we have weapons for air coming. So we're going to see an interesting, uh, I'm curious to see what our Protoss player goes to. This is bad right here. Yeah, he's losing Stalker. He lost him right here. Oh, that Banshee's doing work. Yes. But look at Got it. A... Oh, look at that blink. Mm. Uh, Paco Mike has four bases, so that's still... That's still good, because technically we don't have to engage the Terran. He has to deny him a fourth. No. Yeah, yeah. Deny the fourth and know when he's coming out to slow him down. So, I mean, oh. we still make good decisions and make good moves. We got to... Definitely, patience is this type of game, sadly, you know. We got Tempest coming out, Florencio. I like this. Ooh. A nice run by, a blink run by would have been good. Just kind of like pick off some stuff, turrets and some tanks, and then go in with Prism later. Oh, look at those Banshees just get, they're almost like in range, kind of, but unfortunately they're not spouted. We have a Tempest on the map, and we have Photon Cannons. Now we got cannons. There we go. Oh, That's buddy, a this is an interesting match. Are we going to get some... Um, I think we might see our first game off Lilla Cannon if he, if our Protoss can just hold and keep expanding and deny the th deny the fourth. Yeah, Paco yeah. is a really good player for sure. Lilla Cannon is probably just sieging up, right? Getting all the siege tanks in the first place to kind of deny any kind of like run buys and stuff, and then getting his doors and then eventually unseaging and using that as a push. Uh, it's quite good when uh, Protosses are impatient because they just run into all this and just lose their army. Whenever you see a Turtle Terran, your objective, probably the best thing to do is make a lot of bases. Just out, out, outpace them. Because they're yeah. so slow at taking bases. Now, one thing we didn't see, we have double Stargate production, right? We didn't see him show his hand with the Tempest, really. Um, yeah, but Tempests aren't always like that big of a play with Terran because they just go doors and counter the Tempest. Oh, but so look at that there. Micro with those Zealots. He that took out a couple right there. tanks. That's Digging huge for him. Yeah, that stuff helps out. Definitely. We can get more of those trades because... Um, we're we're going to see a Planetary come on the 4th. You know what I mean? Yep, that uh, tank is gone. Yeah, they got a lot of doors, yeah. Yeah, that's what you got Now the doors are great, except they're gonna clump up, and these disruption novas are gonna help out if he can keep these disruptors alive. If this guy, uh, Lilla Cannon, keeps his doors clumped up like that. Yeah, let's see, we got a. Uh... Four bases now for Terran, so we need a fifth base for Protoss, which is happening right now, or trying to happen. Yeah. But I would start taking base five and six and just getting the gases for it, just because gas is going to be the most important part of this late game. Eventually, it's going to be drawn out to who has the most gas to get the best tech. Yeah, so we do have Immortals starting to come out behind with the Tempest, and we have a Dark Shrine going down for some late game DT play. Oh, look at these Hellions, though. Yeah. 
blue flame hellions are gonna do some work, but I like the walling and the static of Paco. Bro, uh, we at five tempest. Three mortals. Mortals can do good versus the Thors, <laughs> but Hellions can't do good against Tempest. <laughs> yeah, as long as the Thors don't shoot the Tempest, that's fine. and the Immortals can get on some of that, but we'll see what happens. All the Hellions die. Oh, Ooh, Widow Mines! Oh no, Widow Mines! Because he used that blink. Oh wait, he's fine. Look at the upgrades. Three, three, ground weapons and armor. And the Tempest are just shredding. Losing a lot right here. He's got another, he lost a uh, command I'm center speechless. at the top left. Oh, the Cheeto dust on the Stalkers, but it doesn't matter. They took out a lot. Yeah, he did really good damage in here. Taking out those tanks really helped him soften some of that defense. Just get those stalkers in to kind of kill that command center. So, kind of like that. And the fact that he's taking another base is really good because we're gonna need it. Dude, I really am enjoying this game. I don't know about you. It's been an interesting mech, Protoss mech versus Terran mech, basically. Yeah, definitely an interesting game. Let's see how it uh, unravels. Two observers. Karen losing that third orbital was a little rough. That's blink. Yeah, that was good. Oh, show. Ooh. No, the, is he gonna take out that? Oh, he is gonna take it out. Oh, the orbital goes down. The, Picked up. The Cheeto dust is real, but those stalkers can just one like they. Three oh. shot. Now they're less, but they're actually doing damage on those Thors. Yeah, they are. And, and the, the repairs not there. They're the repairing the Pike your fortress though, but yeah, definitely need to help on the Thors. Well, now this disruptor is going to go kill a bunch of SCVs, is my guess. Somewhere in the mix of this. Yeah, well, we're no longer in the right. I don't know. I mean, we had a good hold for a little bit tanks but now he's repositioning everything so now he's he no longer has that solid you know each that he had before yeah I mean I like that Start he's getting widow mines out and placing them but it's just yep there's a disruptor behind oh Ooh. nine workers down Ooh. Protoss oh, can now have to. This looks like we have. Oh, we didn't repair in time again. Oh no. GG is called. Echo Mike. Jeez. The stores didn't get repaired. That's kind of. <laughs> Usually they ravage the Tempest. Yeah, man. Play for our Protoss player. Yeah, for sure. Toss already won, indeed. All right, so let's see here. Game number two in the finals of the second Legion Invitational, which ended up being a bit rough. Florencio again, you know, I was hoping for a nice long whatever, but when you, when I heard you just got up then and I saw kind of you were, I had a hunch you were up late, you know, I'm actually glad for you that this is going a little shorter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm a knockout after this. Uh, so, so, you know, you heard it from me. I, people do actually care, you know what I'm saying? You got to take care of yourself because, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. 
I, yeah, every once in a while I let my body just put her sleep. So fans, don't be so real, you know, rough on Mr. Florencio here. You want to do it or do you want me to do it? Go ahead. You're next. All right. Yeah. Spawning in the upper right corner of Eternal Emperor LE. An old favorite that's made the map pool for a while. We have Lil Cannon. Lil Cannon. Cannon. And on the bottom left, our, our Protoss player in the red. Representing Alpha X, it's Paco Mike. The first game taken off Lilican in all series. All right. This could be show match if uh, Lilican and doesn't use his creativity in some other same opener. Yeah, Engineering Bay. We're keeping the Protoss from feeling comfortable getting that fast expand. Um, so we're not going to give them any chance to, you know, maximize. You know what I do sometimes, Florencio, when I see that and I wanted to fast expand? Get third? Yep. <laughs> oh. I just walk right by it and take the third. Depending on the map. Yeah. What if I had a SCV making a barracks at the third and I block your natural and you take it at the third and then I bunker rush you? Then by the yeah, by the time I saw an SC like usually I'd have a scout out myself. I'd be trying to get to a zealot, if nothing else, and then freaking I, sometimes I drop a forge, believe it or not. It sounds stupid, but a forge is good. Yeah, exactly like you're saying, though. He did just that. <laughs> Lilla Cannon's being damn annoying this game because he knows if if uh, he loses this one, it's not complete winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so let's see if he's kind of check checking to make sure that there's no third right here. Uh, Reaper, gonna go and check what the proxy is. is it gonna be a Twilight? Is it gonna be a Robo? What is it gonna be? Now there's no tail yet, but it's a Nexus coming up, so that kind of just tells you it's gonna be a micro play, some sort. Brax is loading, so this is probably we have the same, literally the same opener, and if you. In case yeah, you didn't it see it, over. the engineering bay went down without a cancel. Yeah, uh, SCB go. Oh shoot! I didn't see that. Ah! No, an SCB yeah. goes down. Oh. All right, so we're gonna have that. That barracks has to. Two workers for a reaper. That was worth it. Oh. If this supply depot goes to oh my god look at the command center's delayed i like this early aggro from our protoss player a little he's trying to get that supply depot to supply block him oh and he's delaying the the nat of the terran who's now going to be behind a feet oh narrow little little bunny my dude is actually he's got the barracks floating over there so now he's out over there he should have the third one Meet him over there. Now this is a mech thing, but I like to call this the smart Asian guy. With the flying barracks. I, I don't know why, he's just... Yep, smart, smart Asian, Asian guy is a streamer. Right? Yep, he actually was in Legion. Unfortunately, we had some stuff where we had to lose him, but I I like I like him. He's, he's fine. Uh, he's a little BM, no. but... I, I have no personal qualms with them myself oh 
Look at that, the shield battery being used to save the pylon. And the stalker's warping in right there. That was actually kind of cool. Uh-oh. Oof. We're losing that. Almost. Those cycle ones live. I think what I normally do is I'll have the barracks or whatever building follow the, uh, the stalkers. That way they're in the um, same range area. They don't just stay right there getting, you know. Yeah, they and you can get them to miss micro. Oh my god, yeah. I wish I'd, I tried to turn it off my sound on my phone before and guess what? It keeps going off and every single one of those notifications is from Coinbase. The cryptocurrency world is going crazy. You don't have to turn it off? Yeah, it's not turn off, but like turn off the notifications. Yeah, it's something goofed up. I got it. Oh. I just had an update to my phone, so it's being a little weird. Oh, Mike's gonna be like, you don't have a third yet? Okay. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that barracks gets denied. You know, I'd like to see Lilican and actually play bio of this game. It would have been a nice plot twist, you know. Or like mix it up because he could have totally psyched the hell out of uh, Paco Mike. Yeah. Well, I mean, you gotta play it the way you feel comfortable with sometimes. Oh, yeah. Because sometimes when you change it up too much, you can go wrong. Like, I, I like I like both these players. I think they're extremely solid. <clears throat> the disruptors again. Charge lot, Archon, I mean, charge lot play with the upgrades, so that's good. Banshee's coming up for another harass. There are a lot of guys that say, and I self included, but I bet some mech builds are just really hard if you don't deal with it right, but there are a lot of guys that say don't mech versus Protoss, though. And. Paco, I think, is one of those players that makes that sand kind of a, a thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? He knows how to deal with it pretty well, it seems like. But, you know, it all depends on the player, and it depends on how you, you play. Sometimes mech's just a good hard counter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same. <laughs> I don't know. Change. It just depends on the player. Every game's to me is different, so I don't. Yeah. I don't know until I see it. But we have like the same kind of stuff going. We have Stargate. We have upgrades from our Protoss. Starting with armor. Um. With the. Uh... Here we go. Soccer go clear. They're gonna SCB out. Disruptor. Okay. This game, I think, was definitely different. Like you just said, if you notice, Lilla Cannon actually did do something a little different for an opener. He was playing a little more, he's playing more battle mech. So he's less tank heavy than the last game off the cuff. More factories coming up. Yeah. So he was open more with a more agile, you know, trying to get some damage done early army. Wow. Absolutely wild. Holy sh likeies. We got more stalker, blink stalker disruptor. Huh. You can control the tower. 
There's a Hellion run by. That might do some damage. Your probes are under attack. I'm looking in the player oh, yeah. cams for a second to see. Oh yeah. See what Paco is doing. He's going all in back Your home. Oh my God! Look at the worker losses. Oh, these talkers are take out these planes. Now this game, I this game I'm rooting for Mr. Little Cannon because of this being the finals, and you know I, I'll root for Terrans and PVT sometimes. But both these players are great; they seem like really good guys. Yeah, um, they're playing their heart out right now. Yeah, and they're not being BM. They're being pretty, pretty good sports about everything. I'd say, you know. Oh, another one! No, pull oh, back. Oh no, back. the tanks! That's, that was a good back. blink. It's in time too. Nice. <gasps> that observer just gets in range of the tanks right there. Oh no! Oh. This positioning is rough for our Protoss player. I think he's going all in because he knows. I mean, it is a fourth, but he's going to go try to snipe a fort. If he pushes and hit, catches this planetary fortress, right? Before it's made, that actually might change. Oh, man. It's a disaster. He doesn't get the planetary. Oh, he's going for the workers. The orbital actually. Oh man, this is rough. Oh. We have a blank. Oh no, that observer goes down. He needed that observer to jump up on the Thor, but the third base is now annihilated from Paco Mike. But a lot of workers have gone down. And we do have a Nexus coming down from our Protoss player. What an epic battle, Florencio. Oh! oh. Getting... The Warp Prism goes down. Oh, Disruptors. It's a tank. You can't uh, lose. Tanks are all splashed. All separated, which is really good. 41 workers went down for our Terran. 90 went down for our Protoss player. Oh no, sorry, not 90. 44, even worker kills, but the Terran's in a good spot. GG is called. Let's look at these graphs quick before the players go, hopefully. That was a close army value. <laughs> Man. Florencio, this is crazy. Yeah, I see a income spike. Yeah, they. For, um, but that was kind. That was kind of close in the trades for stuff. But the Terran army was just in a way better position, you know. Yeah. Holy shit. You got in. Like I was. Like you usually say too, you know. Those trades, man, they make a hell of a difference. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, sometimes. All right. Um, was it uh two one one, one? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, we're at one one. This is the match point for the finals. You want to do the honors, sir? Whatever player you want. All right. On the bottom left, our Karen player in the green, representing E Punks. It is low can cannon. And in the upper right corner of Pillars of Gold LE, we have our Protoss player representing Alpha X. We have Paco Mike in this best of three finals for the very uh, rough, uh, <laughs> poorly run, I'd say, but making it work at the last minute, Legion Invitational number two. Thank you, everybody, for the help. So. All right, there goes the SCV. And there goes the probe. I want to see a proxy versus proxy, Florencio. That'd be an epic way to end this series. 
Let's find out what happens. Who are you going for right now? Which one, which one of these players? Ooh. Engineering Bay block. Building I want you know. We have double. Oh no! I thought we saw double gas from our Protoss player. I was all excited for a second. Okay, we got some SCV harass from the probe. You might be able to lose that. Taco Mike responds in kind. The probe takes off. He knows the Reaper's coming out, so he wants to try. Oh, wait, what? Where's our probe going? He is going to the bottom right corner of the map. Possibly proxy. Yeah, dude. Proxy target, maybe. Let's see. Oh, maybe oh, he's no. just hiding. Yeah. No, he's gonna. I think he's gonna proxy. Maybe he's doing a later proxy. But oh, the Reaper's looking for proxies. Oh shit. Factory's completed on to attack lab, so we have the psych one coming out, presumably. We got Reapers coming in. Then good peak. And it you goes see down. See a twilight. Yeah, see some stalkers. Twilight. We had, you know what? That Reaper actually was killed, but no worker kills this game. Yeah. Oh, there goes the Twilight Council. Hey, provide. Oh. Provide your will. Yeah. What up, dude? Appreciate a follow if you like this. Oh my god. Oh, uh, oh, there goes the cyclone. Uh, the rat. It says he's playing it. Very. I think he really likes this build. He's very comfortable with this cyclone uh, harass. I remember I played what I think it was Nathanius, and he was doing something like this back in the day when Cyclone was new. Yeah. Good way of using the uh, Cyclone range. Yeah, man. It's a lot. Huh. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. It's all Florencio with the hard carry, though, on the casting, to be honest. I just do it for fun, you know? Here we go. Two Cyclones are going to take out the two Stalkers. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. oh, the ba the battery is... Shield battery is there, so that could help if he gets. Oh yeah, he needs. He needed energy for overcharge, and he couldn't do it. <laughs> CB still there. What happened to Probius? He died. Huh. Server link. That third. You know something? Florencio. If you weren't so tired after this being a short I'd be like I would I'd totally ask if you'd be down to play one game of two V two with me, but I'm gonna knock out so quick. Yeah, dude, you need your sleep, man. Falling asleep already. You get bothered. You, you get bothered by enough people, even though I know it, it's obviously not a bother. But I've seen it at times in your stream. You're like, you are literally like been streaming like ten hours. You're like ready to fall asleep. Everyone's like, hey, do this. Hey, play this. Nah. <laughs> he needs it. Uh, my body shuts sometimes. 
sometimes you gotta, you gotta listen to your body, you know, because they tell you, I don't care, I'm gonna, you're gonna fall asleep no matter what. I fall asleep on my stream, not try, but my body just says no. <laughs> yeah, you're going to sleep. Lights are off, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, so. We got a little run by Hellions coming by. Around the long way. Sneak oh my in. Good. Lord. We have the Stalkers poking back toward their third for defense in the third. But the Hellions are coming up kind of toward the net. Oh no, they're going to the natural. So let's see. I think these. Oh! Yep, they're going to the net. Interesting. Nice blink. You know, that could have went way worse for our Protoss player. That was incredibly quick decision making from Mr. Paco. Going into Banshee again. Cloak Banshee for her ass. She does like the barracks. Or the engineering bay block. Does a little harass, then banshees. Then he goes for a third. And then he tanks up. And sieges. Team. So he feels comfortable with this build. Yeah, this is interesting. Charge is completing. Oh, this time I think we might see a little. No! Stalkers are there. A couple workers killed. All in all. Aliens uh, got taken out. Okay, we got a warp prism trying to poke its way in. But there's a cyclone acting like a missile turret. I like that. Whoa. Oh, the... the the turrets. So we don't have high sec. I noticed that uh, I don't high sec auto tracking from Lilikan cannon, and uh, who plays two v two only scrubs? Nightlight. Actually, I'm gonna cast your replay when we're done with this series after a short break. But we're not done yet. We don't know who's gonna win this yet. Third orbital going down in the fourth base position from a little cannon. High smoking again. Yeah, oh wait, you know Tank. You've been uh Mr. Nightlight. Doctors come and check the third. They're not gonna see it there, but Possibly you're gonna notice that. There it goes, yeah. So we're finally gonna oh, yeah. see those hyperflight rotor bands. Oh look at this! Disruption Nova kills four Hellions and then <gasps> That was sick! Those were absolutely great disruption novas. Amazing. <gasps> the Raven. Dude, you see how that observer just got sniped? That raven just like, not on my watch. Yeah, like, nope. Those ban- uh, Banshees. I could try to shoot the Banshee cloak, then he shot the rocks. Yep. Got lots coming in, though. And we have up extra upgrades, making our Protoss player on 2-2. Two -two. Being ahead on upgrades is pretty good for a PVT. Like this. Uh, we here. Chicken probes only, though. Oh my god, he's gonna save- is he gonna save that disruptor? Oh no. He saved the disruptors, Jesus. We have mech versus mech of two different races. And no, we're not we'll being racist. Who will prevail? Dude, I like these zealots over here. But I'm, I, 
Yeah, he's got shark slots. They can get inside that, that natural. Mm hmm. Now, if Lila Cannon no scouts this with that sensor tower, though, he can raise that supply depot. Look at that dance. Oh my god. Oh. We're going for macro build, and we're just going to keep them from taking that fourth, which is really good. Keep them off that fourth, taking up fourth and fifth. You'll be able to just overproduce. As long as you don't lose your units recklessly. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know something, Florentio, from watching your streams when I can lately? Because uh, some differences in schedule of my own compared to some stuff I, I noticed you've been playing some more macro games from time to time in like yeah. different ways than normal it's cool I, I like I like it like you're trying some new shit out huh yeah that's how I play yeah man I mean even when you when you uh when you're going for like an early aggro build and stuff you always have you, there's always a plan <laughs> you know what I mean there's always yeah. a plan. That's the beauty of StarCraft, my friend. A lot of opportunities. <laughs> These guys just have some... They have their unique style, to say the least. Oh, this one go oh right here. Perfect. Oh, two Thors go down. Oh, he almost kills a third. Air, air weapons level yeah, one's about to finish. Taco Mike's gonna lose this wall on his left flank. Okay, so we're gonna I'm doing some really good damage with the Tempest. So we're gonna see the Stalkers intercept from the right, right after this Tempest move, getting. Trying to catch our Terran player off guard. Oh, Disruptor's behind this? Eh. Okay. You know, in this game, if you look, our Protoss player's taking his fifth. Lula Cannon's fighting well, but both players, I'd like to say, and use a boomer expression, patience is a virtue, because... A lot of people could easily have missed micro and yolo that, or just decided, you know, I'm... Fuck it, I'm gonna go push in. And that's just not the right response to this kind of engagement. Like, Terran's Terran's pretty well defended. Our Protoss player's pretty well defended. Six base from our Protoss player. Yeah, the macro's doing... Uh, Paco Mike's doing really good macro. This is what you gotta do versus a, a mech Terran. Pretty much is how macro him. Keep him on the on the uh, frying pan, um, expand, and then just over overproduce. Right. Yeah, man. You know, I just thought about something. Oh no, the widow mines! Oh shit! This game has gotten crazy. All the tempest have died. Do not. See. Oh, the little mines. The Hellions do die, but... Wow! That was a big loss for Paco Mike. Absolutely disgusting Widow Mine shot. That was beautiful, but now they're going down to Tempest. Because look at Tempest. <laughs> These are good when you know how to use them or in certain positions, but if he keeps making thwarts... The stores are gonna crush those and hopefully, but like I said, he's got more bases, so that's the good part. Ah. You can trade, you can trade a little poorly and still be good. So I'm gonna say, on yeah. I'm sorry, I was gonna say, I think those widow mines were empty. Oh my god, those novas and the micro of the SCBs. I, I want to say those widow mines were like the MVP of the game, though. <laughs> oh, DTs, Boba Fett. 
Oh, Boba Fett. Oh, he lost all the DTs right away. No. <laughs> Damn. That. You know, if he had Blink. Oh, he's getting DT Blink. He's getting Shadow Strike. Shadow Stride, whatever. My favorite ability in the game. But that guy. You know, I gotta say, Paco Mike. You pulled the Dave Testa. I treat my Dark Templar like they're expensive banelings that do no damage. They're just there to throw my opponent off and cost me a lot of money. Kind of like a bad girlfriend. What? Now, six bases just seems kind of dirty to me, Florencio. You know what I'm saying? What would six? Oh, you got to have seven, eight, nine, ten for a macro. When you're playing a turtle Terran, more bases you have, better. Just don't get a lot of workers. Just get gases on the outside bases. But, uh, it's not dirty. It's just the way you have to deal with Terran. Well, no, I was. I, my mind was in the gutter for a moment. I'm like, what would six uh, base be? It'd be like double sixty nine. Okay, back to the game. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be said, folks. Okay. That Banshee's doing work on a assimilator. Blink DTs. I actually like Blink DTs versus Mac. It's ballsy, but you can do some shit to Thor's. As you don't run into the army, you're good. Poking and prodding. Yep. Oof. Here we go again. Oh, Viking oh, count. The, ah, the Cheeto dust! Yeah, those Vikings. That's a different twitch this game. The Vikings are going to do some serious work on the Cheetoed campus, but let's look at the upgrades. So we're pretty close on upgrades, except, you know, Terran's armor. Applies to both uh, ground and air for factory units. Oh, widow mine! Ah! Oof! Widow mines! I hate widow mines. I love watching them, but I hate them. Go, Kenneth! Try to take an expo. Oh my God! Absolutely insane. There goes little Ken trying to take that command center. I'm surprised I didn't think I got that Paco man saw it. So Paco Mike, I would like to, to see him take an additional base over here. He's gonna lose the Tempest. Oh, look at this proxy uh, Nexus. Our proxy command is a scout. Not really proxy, but that position was uh, certainly noticed by Paco Mike. Huh. And we got the Blink Stalker Disruptor on the other side. And it, the token DT. Psystorm. Huh. There you go. Yeah, 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 guys. I see. Ah. Oh. Sorry, our chats are two minutes behind. That does make things. Weird Fifty dollar donation. Oh. That that base situated on the far right, and we're gonna we land this one. What are we doing with Putos? I feel like mothership is really good use. I'm not sure why the mothership's not being used. We got um, carriers. Yeah, mothership would be cool in this case because you could use it for a recall. He's got the cloaking. Yeah. You know something? That DT actually serving some purpose. Oh, no. <laughs> I just say it and then he uses it. That's funny. Uh, it, but he was poking to make sure he doesn't take a base right there. There we go. Wiping down a lot of the SCVs. Oh, the 
I mean, oh yeah, the disruptors! Oh buddy, look at this. This game is getting freaking crazy. We are in the late game, folks. We're going to see some big dick plays from both players here. Okay. M-Zeros, thank you so much with the tier 2 sub. Hey, thanks everybody for Ooh. helping Florencio out. Seventy. Yeah, Greg, I would agree this has been a good series. We gotta see what happens. This game is still going. Got an attack coming up over here. These guys are absolute monsters, Florent. I think Florencio, I don't know about you. As we watch yeah, this great. last game, this is Yeah, they're definitely playing their hearts out. Oh yeah, this disruption novas! That was a big hit right there. 14 So far we had 42. And 25 workers killed this game in a lot of units. Sorry that I'm yelling. I hope you didn't uh, get your damage from that, dude. Uh, you're good. Or anybody listening on uh, easy stream. Here we go. High sec auto tracking finishing. Oh, the storm! The storm. We have like every tech path in the game at this point. This is where shit gets fun. We got battle cruisers, we got carriers, we got tempest, we got disruptors, we got basically everything but ghosts. And we got DTs doing something somewhere. I thought I heard. I thought I heard swish. Oh yeah, one man on a mission, about to die to a raven. Here we go. I take this base out right here. Yeah, this is a test. Widowmine kills some enters. Oh, the storms are great on the Vikings. They don't stack, though, unfortunately. But he, oh my god, that actually was. I think he had him just out and off where they kind of. Interference matrix is good. Jesus Christ, this is epic. Yeah, this is. Four. Mm. Who's gonna take this? Ooh, nice teleport. Saves at the BC right in time. The intensity of this game is just... Something, man. Disruptors are gonna try to follow the SCVs? Nope. It's a long game, but this isn't like a... By no means is... In my opinion, I, at least, I don't think this has been... Anything but action. Yes. And, um... A lot of action since the beginning of this fight hasn't stopped yet. So who will take the $125 prize and who gets the 40? We'll find out. This week and the price is cheese. Here goes the fight. It looks like he's gonna engage. Look at he the Protoss player is now procured. He's procuring a base right next to a planetary. He's just like, you know what, buddy? Lilican and such a monster player, both guys. I think we're starting to see the scales tip in our Protoss. Look at the economy. Let's actually look at the income. But but Lil Cannon is actually gonna fight this to the bitter end because we do have we do have some stuff still, not a lot, but we have some stuff still, and it's for oh, the end. Shit. Oh it's my not God! Good. Oh. That's devastating. Losing this base. Very unfortunate. Oh, actually, we're gonna go through the natural. Do we see some oh, good yeah. Yamato cannons out of this? What do we see? Hellbats and battle cruisers and Thors. I do like this. Yamato's kicking in. Yep. He needs Yamato's for those beast, uh, the carriers. Damn, 34 to 72 workers in seven bait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bases. Versus 
mined out three bases with one yeah, actually. Yeah, the money, the income is going to be low. Karen's um, not going to be able to get those units that he normally likes. Um, the income is like 166 right now. The BC's trying to go in and get some work done. They're going to teleport yeah. right the hell out of there, I think. Oh, nice save. There is a zealot poking and doing work against widow mines. Oh, it dies. All right. Now is the time for superior A moves. Yeah, smoke gets both prizes on behalf of the players. That's funny. The DT down there. The Widow Mines are going to kill. Oh. Not Zara Tools, brother. Fred. DT's chiseling away at the production a little at a time. Here we go. Here goes an engagement. Carriers are getting put The disruptors are going to land on the tanks. Oh, the disruptors oh, got attacked. Some of them hit, but there's too many carriers right Inter now. All oh, the interference matrixes are sick. Dear Lord. And oh, anything no. that shoots oh, up is a basically down. We have GG. Paco Mike has won this pretty wild series. Oh my god, I was slouching back in my chair. I was like at the edge of my seat in another way because I'm just like, whoa. It's a good game. That was fucking sick, man. So there we have it. All right, so here we go. The winner is announced. First place winner <clears throat> is Paco Mike. Second place winner is Lila Cannon. And I got to make sure I spell his name right front or on here. Please give them some follows. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, so here we have it. We have our winners. Florencio? You yeah. still there? I'm here. I'm sorry, you're tired. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I'm out right now, but I'm going to host you right now, and then I'll talk to you later. All right, thanks, brother. I'll be, I'll be in touch with you, too. I really do appreciate it, man. Oh. Um. Hold on, I'll wait a minute so we can watch the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're like, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I know, oh. man. Keep up the good work, too, by the way, my guy. You're freaking amazing. I just gotta, yeah, just gotta let my body recover. Yeah, dude. For sure. I'm gonna have to talk to everybody for a minute after and just let them know we got a break and I'll do some replays and stuff and try to I might actually offer the player something because some people left and I might DM them okay
Thank you. All right, so. All right, so we, we got a raid. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it, Florencio. No problem. You have a good stream. You too, and you have some uh, good dreams of cheese, my dude. Oh, do. <laughs> so everybody, thanks for hopping in. I hope you guys aren't all gone. Um, we have our first place winner of the Legion Invitational number two. I will need a break for a bit, but I'm hoping anybody from the Florencio community too and uh, here would like to do, give some replays but behind the scenes, if anybody's interested, I'm thinking of trying to do something for the losers of the tournament. Um, yeah, so thank you, guys. Um, anybody still here? We got some viewers, it looks like. And uh, Florencio did raid me. I hope I didn't do too bad for you guys. Um, wow, 91 people. So... Yeah, I feel bad for the mispronunciations, and I was informed that Lil Cannon, Lil, Lil Cannon, actually did have some lag at the end. But you know, unfortunately, we try our best to, you know, find what we can do for people all over the world in these tournaments. And uh, the time would have been different, but we we were planning on Gamer Richie being in, and we had a heavy EU um, amount of people at first, but now it turned into NA. And uh, I appreciate anybody who came to play. Um, and again, if anybody in chat here, if you like this or, you know, I'm sure most of you were on Florencio's stream, of course. Um, please give me a follow. I do replays. Uh, I take uh, people's games. I'm uh, Dave Testa from Team Legion. We definitely look for people to come into our community, not even just as, you know, a team we were kind of a gaming community in general and we like to hang out and play and have some fun um appreciate you guys and uh thank you for everything but uh yeah i can do a loser's bracket would you guys all be willing if anybody's interested um i'm gonna actually my streams here anyone mind if i take a break i'd like to remove the stream delay I will restart the stream immediately. Yeah. All right, so yeah, guys, I'm going to take a brief break. And then after we'll t discuss the stream, please let me know if I can restart the stream. All right, so here we go. Yeah, guys, uh, please uh, help them out with the uh, Discord link. This is Team Legion's Discord. This is our website. I would appreciate any views, follows, whatever you guys want if you like it. Even if you're not sure, you can give it a shot. Hey, thanks for the follow. appreciate it. At this timer might actually need to go a little longer because I'm trying to get you guys uh, get you guys some info here. I will be right back. I'm going to adjust this timer because, again, I'm trying to catch up with you guys. Smoke is uh, on board with you. I'll probably get in voice with some folks too. And if you guys do want to hang out, I know a bunch of you are leaving. You're like, oh, whatever, Florencia was gone. I'll be right back, and we'll, we'll change the stream delay if you guys are willing to. If you guys don't want to hang, that's fine, but, you know. I, I do appreciate it. Sorry, I should have put this up. I do appreciate it. That's our info, teamwagent.net. 
Land of Legion TVs, the the Legion Twitch. I apologize, I didn't restream to broke both. Yeah, I I know exactly. No breaks for me. <sighs> you know, I didn't have my Legion shirt on or anything. I literally, I just gotta go take a week quick and check some messages, etc. Um, thank you all. I'll be right back. B R B. that timing you know I couldn't have planned that better what do you guys think so anyway we're gonna do some replays I'm gonna do some that I had queued up from mr. nightlight All right, so we're gonna get another tournament going though. The losers bracket tournament. Alright, so anyway. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do some replays. I haven't heard anything on the losers bracket, but I'm gonna get in voice with some folks. Actually, before we restart this. Hey guys, I don't mean to put you on the spot. What's up, Tommy? What's up? What's up, Star and Tommy? How you guys doing? Well, we were playing some 1v1. Oh boy, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I figured I'd pop by and say hi. I'm gonna restart You're my stream. You're not interrupting anything because he. 